Hey yo, what's up everybody? It is time, Saturday, 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 8 p.m. on the nose. And it's time for Act the King and restreaming until we get a tip. And speaking of tips, I have a great tip, but there's a legend in the house, Atlas the Bookkeeper. How's it? How you feeling, my friend? Feeling good, feeling great as always. Nice. And uh, did you do any kind of streaming today? What happened? Explain your day so far. I, I watched the aftermath to the interview from ah. earlier this month. <laughs> I, I wanted to catch the, you know, the, the second half of it, kind of, you know. Mm -hmm. So, okay, that's okay. what we did today. Sweet, sweet, sweet. That sounds pretty good to me. Pretty good. As always, Atlas is dropping the videos for your for your entertainment all the fucking time. So check out his channel. Uh, so today, guys, we do have a new game. A new game to be seen. Dragon's Dog. Oh, as, he, as DSP put it. Dragon's Dog Man, what was it? I forget. <laughs> in the channel, Did he say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He literally said that in the. I think the community post. Let's see if it's still there. He said something to that effect. Let's see. Uh, we are playing. Uh, Did he already change it? Let's see. Uh, I believe it was here. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at look at Saturday, March thirtieth, boys. We're playing Dragon's Dog Man too. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon's Dog Man 2. So I'm pumped for that. I'm very pumped for that, dude. That's going to be hype. As you can see, by the way, Catherine, Catherine Brunel was scheduled for Monday, but Philip brought that up to Catherine, and Catherine said, Oh, no, 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 bitch. I'm not doing Monday. So now WPIG could be on Tuesday night, could be Wednesday night. Who fucking knows? We're following the winds as Ka what, what, Catherine's pers Catherine's uh, temperament that day is going to decide when WPIG restreams because uh, it's still up to Catherine's choice. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, but yeah, new game today, and we stream we restream until a tip. So we might have a quick exit if we get a, a tip, but we'll see. Should be fun. I want to say about the about the cat restream. He did specifically say when uh, they were changing the date that it was because she would be too tired after work mm -hmm. to be doing any sort of streaming. So we get the work drop. Everybody's been saying she's unemployed. Yes. Well, put that out yeah, there. Yeah, I know. I know. It's very. It's highly probable she is working. But remember who we're dealing with here. So, <laughs> all right, <laughs> let's go. Act the king. We are going to th March 29th. Look at that. Just We are only one day away from uh, having this right on the nose because today is the wow. uh, is March 20 is March 30th. Uh, March 29th, 2012. We are going to get into it right now. Let's go. Here we go. You know what it's happens. It's UFC in the title. I'm excited. Hell yeah. Damn, motherfucker. <laughs> All right. What's going on, everyone? Darkside Phil right, here, and Jeez. welcome to another edition of <laughs> oh, close. This is close-up style series where I answer your fan feels like close on your back. Big, big up. You can yeah. See oh yeah. Forum. Fuck. Forgot about that. Yeah. The bag is still here. <laughs> it's the first thing I see every time. <laughs> <laughs> the bag. Now that's literally like nine months, isn't it? Holy shit. We might have a year. A year of bag. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just vacation. He's here for the rest of the year putting in work. He's got a job to do. Tar I, that has to be a card now, dude. We have to have a Target bag now. Card, come on. <laughs> well, I'll make it. I promise. Before next week, we'll have a bag card. All right? I promise. Oh, yeah. Uh, big ups to fic uh, Fictitious, by the way, for the uh, behind-the-scenes style stre uh, contribution before the stream started. You are a legend, Fictitious. And big ups to Vikes, yeah. who says, She working. ALT could only love a working girl. I, I love all girls <laughs> of all kinds, working or non-working. There is a thread there called Ask the King. <laughs> oh, God, J-Dog. This is a funny one. All right. J-Dog says, Catherine Antoinette won't let the people eat cake. She eats the cake. Thank you, J-Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows if that's true or not. I got one up for next month's episode. Or... The day of, meaning today, on my Twitter account, at they call me DSP. I also that is what the day of means. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh. oh. The thanks for that. There. I wasn't sure. Uh, I am <clears throat> still. <clears throat> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. You can't do that. That's what you do when you're five years old and say, Mommy, I'm sick. <clears throat> I'm sick. <clears throat> 
Come on, dude. The question's there. All right. Thank you for re-upping your membership. I appreciate that. <laughs> Salute your snort says, working on a crazy new song for WP Edgy. I'll try to finish it and send it to you. The title alone. All right. Salute your snorts. Let's hear it. P, I also posted up that I was right, accepting questions, and you had the chance to submit the questions there. Uh, I am <clears throat> still... <clears throat> <laughs> I am with still completely <laughs> gone, which Hell I'm yeah. psyched about. Um, but I may be clearing my throat or such, you know, coughing, whatever, during this uh, the, this series of videos. Oh, and as Small you know, this sword? is usually a longer series. It may be a two parter. Probably will be a two parter. Okay, that it always is two parter. Right. Except two-parter. for like really wow. questions. There's only month. been like one time it wasn't two parter. Months the questions have actually seem to be getting better and better. Oh, I better and better. That, uh, Big ups, boys. In fact, I'm only doing it once a month. The fact that I mentioned that says that, and then we get the questions we get, and I'm always disappointed. The uh-huh. the month, really add to that, and you're going to see that I think in today's questions. Great, so, hell let's yeah! Get right to it. Lots of questions from the forums, and I think I also grabbed a, a handful from Twitter this time around. I okay, quit. okay. First question Very cool. is: Phil, seeing that, uh, seeing when you are going to, going to be doing this episode. WrestleMania 28 is that coming? Oh Sunday? come on! Correct, WrestleMania 28. Is oh, WrestleMania questions. Oh yeah. Uh, so yeah. Of the match lineup, and what are your predictions of the match results? Oh, and how oh the God! We can't have wrestling <laughs> comments. Uh, long time for the music. Oh my God! Um, let me put it this way. There we I go. I want to get into yeah. it right now because a lot of people don't Ooh, necessarily watch Ask the King to hear about specific wrestling stuff. Yeah, you know I don't I mean? personally. Um, but. As a lot of people uh, know, some people might not know, so it's worth mentioning. Every Saturday, oh well, I try to do it every Saturday. It's definitely not every Saturday, but on Saturdays, Jesus I film Christ. a wrestling commentary show called Smart Guys. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. It's a long time running show. It's almost, I believe as of October, it'll be two years running. So we're about a year and a half into it right now. That sounds pretty fun. And, uh, yeah, it's it and sounds John like a Rambo, cool product. Do this. And it <laughs> oh, Rambo's there? Over on John Rambo's channel <gasps> oh. on YouTube, John Rambo Presents. So... Oh. <clears throat> Check that oh, out. I gotta we'll go check that out. Yeah. WrestleMania <laughs> show this Saturday. Oh, cool. Um, we'll be talking about all the matches that are going to be on the WrestleMania card, what we think about it, and we're also going to be simulating all of those matches. Oh my in god! Oh. Uh, now we gotta watch it, right? No, no, I'm never doing that. I cannot. Smart guys, it's never worth it. No. All right. It's all not right. worth it. It is that is truly <laughs> not worth it. Never. They don't. They literally just talk about wrestling. That, that's it, guys. That's it. So, like you have to. There's sometimes they say stupid shit, but it's still not worth it. That's too much of a slog, even for me. I said like, there's not enough gold dust in there for you. No, I'm no. Reading all them posts from back in no, the day. No, no, this no. Is too much. Like alphaism radio is like the line I draw because like, th- th- of course when it hits, it hits. I mean the alphaism radio when it yeah, hits, it sure, hits for sure, for sure. But there is plenty of hours you guys have not heard where it does not hit, and they're talking about fighting games. <laughs> you know, if that's your thing, <laughs> it's cool. If that's your thing, it's cool. But it's not my thing. So I'm just sitting there like, holy shit, man. <laughs> On Saturday, check out John Rambo's channel for the wrestling commentary. Where I'll answer this question specifically, but then also check out DSP Gaming, my gaming channel, where you can see simulated matches oh, of what's going on. I cannot wait for simulated so matches. I'm save all that for Saturday. It's gonna be a big. You ever sat through one of those? No. That's okay. pretty miserable too. That that's my. If okay, we should do a tier list of worst possible DSP content in 2024. I think that's it. The simulated matches that he just clown modes over might be my. Oh yeah, that's, that's at least top three. I don't know. What would you say? The worst content category of DSP in 2024. So, like, you have gameplay. Let's just put gameplay all together. Gameplay, yeah. DSP reacts. DSP throwback reacts. Uh, DSP, like, pre oh, level one podcast. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's pretty tough. <laughs> Yeah, the tier makers immediately came to mind too, because that's something we throw out for the events that are just so boring. Yeah, yeah, tier maker. Uh, oh, movie reviews. Cat I say movie reviews. Yeah, that's pretty tough. <laughs> I think though, wrestling sims are my top, my top. For yeah, sure. wrestling sims are really bad. You want to talk about like co- content you can't sit through? Yeah, that's it. Next question. Uh, hey Phil, I'm not sure how much you've played of it so far. Uh, but what are your current thoughts on Resident Evil Revelations? Oh. Will you be doing a hateful truth on it? And that's from Zigwitch. Um, great question. I love Zigwitch. Uh, yep. and I great question, really dude. Cool news regarding this. Oh, cool uh, news. Oh, cool I have news. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kind of beaten my backlog of, of handheld games. Now, oh. I might say, what the hell is he talking about? Yeah. Sick. Basically, that's what I'm saying. Good for you, dude. And, and just give me a typical day. I wake up. Oh, uh, God. And see how busy he is. <laughs> I do whatever 
you know, personal stuff I need to do. Oh, I like, start filming. What does that mean? Jerk off? Very vague. <laughs> and uh, then I'll get some food. Maybe I'll film some more. And then for a couple hours every night before I go to sleep, I relax. And whether I'm, uh, you know, just watching TV or maybe I'm watching a movie, I'm just relaxing usually on my couch. And I actually play handheld games. Ooh. And I've been doing this for a while now, several months. Um, actually, almost about a year a mobile now. Games yet. About yeah. handheld. Not mobile and, games uh, yet, but getting it there. To me several months ago, I was like, "Why the hell am I playing these games?" And not really a pattern in the making. Uh -huh. I was can't play through footage of a handheld, but I could talk about the games. And so I've actually reviewed a couple of the handheld games that I've played recently, including Dragon Hunter Alliance on the Ooh. PS Vita and Golden Sun Dark Dawn for the Nintendo DS. Oh. Right now, I'm actually very close to finishing Super Mario Bros. 3D Land for the Nintendo 3DS. I've got some interesting Whoa. things to say about this game. And I'm actually, right now, the only reason I haven't beaten it is because I'm going for the super <laughs> secret ending where you have to beat every oh, single stage with both Mario <laughs> yeah, and Luigi. Of course. <laughs> both of them. And that's going to take me probably a day or two to get to. Oh, so once man. I do that, I'll be reviewing that uh, here on DSP Gaming. I'll be doing a hateful truth of that game. Oh, can't wait for that. That double sit sure style. God. He's As thirsty. usual, because it's a, my first review of All it. right. Well, he talked about it, so we're not going to watch it. Oh, not that one, because it's, it's fucking 24 minutes long. But let's see this real quick. He did, he did release that hateful truth. He wasn't lying. Minimum truth, minimum bullshit regarding the game that I'm talking about. John let's, let, let's, let's see I'm the conclusion. Oh, this shirt, this shirt's kind of interesting. It's one of those ones you find like hot topic, you know? A link to the future. Yeah. Oh, I'm, yeah. A gamer. I'm a gamer. Where'd that shirt go? <laughs> that is uh, the first time I've ever seen that shirt. Me too. That's why I'm kind of interested. All right, let's go to the conclusion real quick. Yeah. Minimum bullshit. Oh, what are we doing here? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What are we doing? Oh, we got the we got the child seat. Are we grabbing a prop? Back supporter, child seat. There we go. All right, let's see. This is let's watch the conclusion. Only two minutes left. It's precise. So that may be a nitpick, but I think it's still worth saying. Um, outside of that, it's a pretty classic Mario game. It's fun. <laughs> it's got a nice leg cross. Um, I was gonna say there's something about this stance in that shirt from this guy. <laughs> Um, Hell yeah! Outside of that, it's a pretty classic Mario game. <laughs> and he fun. throws his it's arms to the side. Uh -huh. It's like Grandpa when he's finished dinner. You know, he goes back. You know, goes back to the chair to watch TV. Oh, that was pretty good dinner, so guys. So what are you guys doing after this? I think it's still worth. Oh, saying. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. great dinner, guys. That, what are you doing? Mario game. Tell me about school. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about what's going on at school. You know. It's fun. <laughs> It's got a hell of a lot of gameplay. Again, if you're going to go back and get all the stuff like I did, you're going to get massive replayability out of this. I probably spent anywhere from 10 to 15 hours, I would say, probably going back and replaying the stages. Whoa. Now, obviously, if you're a Mario master, it's probably going to be maybe Shout out all my hours, Mario masters, Mario, obviously. Hell yeah. Content. Let's put it that way. It's really damn good. So, Super Mario 3D Land. It appeals to young audiences and people who don't want a lot of challenge. It appeals to people who want replayability and challenge. A lot of classic what? Mario gameplay, and not a lot of new Mario gameplay. The 3D looks excellent. Yeah, it's this got game. so much gameplay. And, both and of them. Keep in mind, the 3D does kind of. <laughs> what? Oh, what is this right here? He closed his <laughs> eyes very hard, and then instantly fucking wide eyes out of nowhere. Watch this. Gameplay. The 3D looks excellent on this game. In fact, and keep in mind, the 3D does kind of. <laughs> Okay, watch this. Let's throw it down. The 3D looks excellent on this game. Okay. So we got... And oh, not yet. And Close. And then... Wide. Here it comes. Hang on, boys. <laughs> Those kind of mess with my eyes. I what the hell? Oh, oh, we're talking. Oh, my God, dude. We're talking about messing with our eyes on oh the 3D. Oh, my God. That's amazing. He's talking about 3D <laughs> in the game, and he has to close it now. It's you're not watching the game right now. <laughs> Ability and challenge. A lot of classic Mario gameplay, and not a lot of new Mario gameplay. The 3D looks excellent on this game. In fact, and keep in mind that the 3D does kind of mess with my eyes. I have a problem. I don't know what it is. Like That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. He mimicked having problems with his eyes right before mentioning it. Yeah. That's a, that's awesome. That who does this? 
<laughs> people have it where if you watch 3D, 3D movies, 3D anything, yeah. for an extended period of time, you can get headaches. Only once during the entire time that I played this game did I get a headache, okay? Oh, so wow. that means that the 3D works pretty well 99% of the time. Very low headache great. rate. Um, great. So you yeah, should put that on the front is, of the box. Great <laughs> low headache rate. Great fan service. Everything is there. Great and fan I, service. I outstanding. The What's your rating? I really what does that mean? Great fan service. I thought we didn't Don't like fan service. Stellar Blade like is banned in chat. Because the <laughs> they have Mario in it, I guess. The final secret stage I told you about <laughs> is a motherfucking bitch because the controls aren't really uh -oh. pinpoint on. Uh-oh. Moves not don't as come out. Previous Mario games. And I do have to fault the game for that. Uh -oh. That is definitely a detriment where you're, you really feel like you know exactly what you're doing and the game just won't control the way you want it. Right. That is a little bit frustrating. Right. Classic. How do you but have the great same great complaint value. for so <laughs> long? <laughs> That's absolutely crazy. Mario games crazy. are known for their unresponsive uh, controls. That's one of the highlights of the series, actually, is their unresponsive controls. Uh -huh. 0.5 out of 10. That's right. <laughs> this is actually one of the best games I've played in recent memory it's Whoa. really fucking good and if you have a wow. nintendo 3ds i'll tell you right now this is your killer app if it comes to platforming <laughs> killer app. Really to this game. This is like the most <laughs> game the killer app. yes and is it a system seller for some people it will be some people who love mario this is a system seller okay so, if it's a killer app wouldn't it be a system seller and i'm happy <laughs> to announce that i own a 3ds and actually played what's phillips killer app wwe champion <laughs> <laughs> Career killer app, WWE champion. The effects that it had on the game and actually added to the quality of the game. Really good game. Okay. Okay, we're out of here. That wasn't even that cool. But that fucking blink was cool. That <laughs> was very fun. Yeah, but that was very meaningful. I'm glad we got that. Everything else sucked. A mainstream Mario game. Okay. But uh, in regards to Resident Evil Revelations, uh, Ziggy oh, yeah. is correct. I bought it several months ago. Have not had a chance to play it yet. But it's on my agenda. I, right now, I've got oh. Resident Evil I never saw any gameplay of that one. It's the only one I don't think I've ever I've seen. It's on the agenda. The don't worry. I've got <laughs> oh, good. I'll get to it one day. There, Silent Weapons. That's the best way to say it. The credit killer. Killer app, WWE champion. <laughs> Kid Icarus Uprising, which relationship I killer app. <laughs> just purchased, so I've got four pretty marriage heavy killer app. games there to play on the handhelds, and I have to decide after I beat Mario 3D Land and review it which one I want to play next. But eventually, I will be doing Resident Evil Revelations, and Cannot I will definitely wait. be giving everyone That's gonna my be hype, opinions dude. on it. Okay. All right. Yeah, dude. Up next. Gotta go check that uh, out. Hey, Phil, I know that most of the past few months you've been busy with new games, Project 7, conventions, etc. Oh, but so busy. I and many other fans have been wondering when you will hold another fan appreciation week. And that's uh -oh. for the Infected Hunter. Um, by the way, Infected Hunter was not the only person to ask that. There's actually several questions. Can't do fan nights, guys. The trolls. <laughs> I think, know what he's talking about. I think we're already at that point, too. But we'll see. Years, whenever I have some downtime. Uh, meaning I might have a particular week when I have no I would be surprised if he does it this early, but he might, uh, you're nothing right. Nothing on the agenda, nothing that's really fan requested. I'll do a fan appreciation day or week, which means I'll pick popular games at the time and play multiplayer with the fans. Now, in the past, I've done Assassin's Creed, oh, Street, come on. Call of Duty, Dead Space. <laughs> Um, you don't have fighters. to do this. Uh, just to name a few, I've done many different. He did games name a few though. The list was long on that one. <laughs> yeah, it just bad. so happens I'm that in the past, oh, sister anime is in chat. Big up, months, sister anime. There really has been no time to do this. There've been non-stop releases, and when there nice are non-stop releases, I have a backlog. Perfect <laughs> example is this week. This week there were no major releases for the first time in two months. Oh come on, get to the I question. Have a backlog of games to play, so I played Blades of Time. Right now I'm playing Silent Hill 2 HD. There's other games to play after that. So really, right now. Now there's no so many time games. to do a fan appreciation. Fan oh, appreciation, no time. I really like to do. You gotta finish these games, you guys. Really popular multiplayer game that came out, and people really really play it? it badly. And number two, when there's just nothing going on, it's downtime. Okay, so get and fucked, it's a basically. Filler for that period yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just haven't had downtime. Yeah, get um, fucked. It's not to say I'm, that again. Too many new games. I gotta be. It's the same shit, there's different day, man. Especially in the next coming months. I saw April. There's a lot of slow times. And typically Did we lose a lint roller, or are we too zoomed in to see the second lint roller? That's a good. Noticing. Um. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back in time a little bit here. Let's go back two months. That's a good question. I'll shut up. I think we lost a lint roller. We have lost one lint roller. This is huge news. No shit. One this is huge. One nit so that second, but the second one looks like a refill, actually, doesn't it? There's no handle there. Yeah, so it does look like a refill. I think we have lost the refill, but not the original. So, so does he have another lint roller somewhere else? Oh, wait. Taco Chan is saying it was a shelf up last show. 
Okay, I can check that too. Don't worry, I have the capability here. Let's go back. For, let's go forward a month. Oh no, it oh. moved. Taco Chan, big ups. That's we why I put those wires there. Okay. I see, I see why Phil liked you because you have a great memory. Uh, yes, so the wires took that spot and then the second lint roller went up. <laughs> <laughs> so never mind. Hold the phone. Don't call Kotaku. Oh, that's out anymore. That's that's gone anyways. Don't call your local news station. The the lint roller is still there. It's just we can't see it in this episode. Okay. Got it. But I had a backlog of games coming up. I'll consider it. Unfortunately, there just hasn't been a lot. This is the detective work okay. that really matters. Uh huh. <laughs> Next question. Uh, hi, Phil. Looking at your videos of UFC Undisputed 3, I can see that you actually have a lot of UFC fans. I'm one of them, and I was <laughs> uh -huh. wondering if you could start what? watching UFC pay-per-views and live events again. Ooh, okay. I think you're, an, you're, you're a UFC enjoyer, right, Atlas? I am. I haven't had time recently, but I, I am. Okay, so I'll ask you. Will Philip say he will ever get into UFC? Or is he not? He, the question was, we ever watched the pay-per-views and stuff. Do you think he'll say yes to that or no to that? Or maybe. I'll give you three gonna, options. I think he's going to say no. I think he's going to say no. I think it's got to be maybe, I bet. And if you can make series like similar to Smart Guys, funny that I mentioned Smart Guys already. No, oh, very funny. Yeah, that's super funny. You picked the question. <laughs> what a coincidence. Fans, you know, I think this would make sense. Thank you. And that's from Ray Zone. Um, Big ups, Ray Zone. Here's my feelings on this. Uh-oh. You know, Doesn't seem positive. pro wrestling has been something that's been around my entire life. I was a fan when I was a kid. I was kind of fell out of it when I was a teenager. But he's then just going to say he's not that knowledgeable. Probably. That would again, honestly be a fair, a fair so thing to say. Yeah, yeah you definitely. Know, even though, even though it's I don't too real for him. Enjoy the product all the time. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Enjoy following it as a fan, as a long time fan. They don't have and finishing moves, do dude. Three show like smart guys, and uh, you know, sometimes I you think Rambo that they do. <laughs> UFC. I actually watched UFC when it first started in the 1990s, when it was brutal. Way before there were weight classes, all these rules. It was like a kickboxer versus a sumo wrestler, and the kickboxer would run across and kick the fucking sumo wrestler in the face and knock out all of his teeth. And it was is that true? Yeah, that, that was, was yes. That was that was actually UFC uh, UFC one. That actually happened. Yes. Oh, just that's we don't give statement. a fuck. Just get two people in there, and yeah, beat the shit out of each other. Two, yeah, yeah, and that's exactly <laughs> what happened. He knocked the sumo wrestler down and he kicked all his teeth out. Big ups. All right, that's. That's pretty hype. <laughs> gory. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. And then I kind of saw it evolve over the years into what it is today, a more professional sport, something that's actually taken fairly seriously by lots of fans. Here's the bottom line. Oh, there we go. I would love to be a fan of a lot of stuff. I would love to be a fan of uh, American football. I would love to be a fan of <laughs> UFC. I would love to be a fan of many <laughs> different do it. No, no, no. Things. No time. <laughs> I just don't have time to yes. follow. Oh my <laughs> god. I can't like stuff. I love time. UFC now. You've got the Ultimate time, Fighter. Dude. You've got the weekly shows that they have on regular TV. You, you don't have to watch every single thing. You know? You've got all this stuff going on. You could just watch the Unfortunately, events. Unfortunately, it's like yeah. that's a hobby that if someone has a lot of time, they can follow. You know what I mean? Just like wrestling. I admit, admit every week I watch you can one to two. If you not can not. passively yeah. follow sports. You don't have to be like all about it and know everything. Like You yeah. can just enjoy it when it's on. Spend as much time as you want in something, you know? It's like, you can be a fan of a team and just check the scores every day. Be like, oh, cool, that's good. Oh, they lost. Oh, shit. That could be it, you know? <laughs> More wrestling shows, plus the pay-per-views, plus I do a commentary show. But if I'm going to follow wrestling, I don't have time to follow UFC. I don't have time to follow American football. I don't have time right. to follow everything. You know what I mean? Right. And with a lot of the yeah, things I've been involved in recently, difficult. Project 7 and other projects oh, and things yeah. going on, things that will not get finished. time that I used to have that used to be considered free time, is being taken up by what? 100%ing 3D World? <laughs> That's what it's being taken that up was, by. <laughs> that was super meaningful, though, ALT. Come oh, on. Oh, yes. <laughs> Beating all the levels with Mario and Luigi. Yes. <laughs> so super busy it style. It's absolutely out of the question that I will never follow. You know, I'll never be following UFC. It's not out of the question that I'll follow it. But Got it. at this, this point in time, then? I see myself busy with a lot of other stuff. Uh -huh. And being that I already have the Smart Guy show where I've been a longstanding fan of wrestling, I think it makes more sense to follow that and do a commentary show uh, on you that. Only follow one of those. Okay. Change, but as of right now, <laughs> I'm only going to be doing it for wrestling. Okay? okay. Got it. Up All next. right. Uh, dear Phil, this is a good question. I actually enjoyed this question. Dear Phil. <laughs> I actually enjoyed this question. <laughs> as opposed to the all three the other ones four. Went flocked. <laughs> I hate those ones, but all right. Here's a, it's finally a good question. How do you feel about free-to-play games? 
At this point, it's kind of hard to deny that this payment model, either by using microtransactions. All right. So we have a chance for a great, great L take here. Will he go there, though? We know his takes on Minecraft. He said if it went to pay to play, it would fail. Uh, so let's see what he says here about this free to play yet microtransactions model. Any pre, any any uh, you know pre answer thoughts from you, Atlas, on this on his take on this? What are we gonna get? Uh, I think I think we're gonna get a, a lot of hate. I think yeah. we're gonna get a lot of hate for the microtransaction style. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna say oh, will we get it won't last like that's what I hope we get like it won't last mm. everyone's gonna hate this and it's still going today like more than ever. All right, but let's see. Will he say? He's going to say it's a bad thing, but will we get it's not going to last or people should stop supporting it? Things like that. We'll see. Or a tiered subscription system is becoming more commonplace. Yes, it's Practically awesome. Practically every Love it. single MMO that isn't World of Warcraft has adopted a free-to-play model. And the model is even starting to appear in standard buy-to-own games like Team Fortress 2 or to an extent Crimson Alliance. Uh, do you think this, this is going to be the future of games? Or simply a fad yep. will die out like a bad <laughs> trading card game? And that's from Fly666Monkey, another longtime uh, fan and forum user. Here we go. <clears throat> Flying666Monkey. And ups. I've seen this a lot more. And in fact, I guess I, I can kind of talk a little bit about it here. Yes. Next week, um, just similarly, if you remember about a month ago, I had an opportunity to preview a game. Oh. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, that's nice. Just, Thank you. Oh, here's another one. Uh, I had a, an opportunity through Machinima because I am a Machinima partner to preview a game called oh, Nexus shout out Machinima. Uh, over yeah. at Xbox Live, and I was actually Whoa. able to give out a couple copies of that game to my fans. Okay. Well, oh, I'm that was pretty cool, Machinima, to set you up with that. Uh -huh. game. It's the newest game in the line of Blacklight games. Now, if you remember a couple years ago, there was Blacklight Tango Down, and a lot of people liked that game <laughs> and wanted me to play it. <laughs> That's a good LARP name, Blacklight Tango Down. <laughs> had a chance to do it. Well, the newest iteration of the Blacklight series is actually going to be a free-to-play game Whoa. exclusively on the PC, and Machinima is going to give me an advanced copy of the game next week to try out, and then on Wednesday of next week, I'm going to be releasing some videos of this game so people see what it is. What Answer the like. question, please. And uh, you're going to have the opportunity oh, to get you the, the for free segment as well. First. So Holy shit, be, man. Uh, link right in the video that if you want to go check out the game, you just click there, you can get it on your PC and you oh, can play it for can't free. Wait. Um, now, I'm yeah, sure... Cool. Again, I don't actually, to be honest, I don't know because I don't know much about the game. I Could we answer yet. the I'm question, sure there's sir? There's going to be an opportunity for this company to make money at some point, whether it's if you want to buy better weapons, if you want to buy accessories. Why are we talking about it if you don't even Fly know? <laughs> point, there are many games that are doing this model. You okay, get here we the go. actual game for free, but then if you want to add to the game, you have to spend some money. And it's completely optional. Yeah. You don't need to. It'll obviously enhance your experience. Uh, so hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. New intel now. So this is a game that Machinima is shilling, basically, and you know Machinima is yes. giving to their creators to please shill this game. Will that stop Philip, known hater of all shills, from saying anything negative about this practice? It sounds like it might. That's where we're going, that's, I think. That's what I've been noticing so far. <laughs> I've seen that he's like, Machinima gave me some codes. They're going to try it out early. Uh -huh. And he hasn't said anything negative yet. I, I noticed know, it's, that. It's not that bad, you know? <laughs> There's a lot of value there. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see. MMOs, which are massively multiplayer online oh, games, thank you. RPGs, role-playing games, okay. have com almost completely, nice. except for World of Warcraft, shifted to this model. When that was in the question, actually. Launched, they were all subscription based, meaning pay five, ten dollars a month and you can play these games. Well, they've now found out that most people don't want to do subscription based system. That doesn't make sense. They just want to buy I wish a they'd game find and that play out the again. goddamn game. <laughs> so what they're doing now is they let you play the game for free. Okay. But then if you actually want to advance past a certain level, so you play it to level twenty, you can stay at level twenty forever, which lots of people do. Oh but my god, if you we're still explaining. Have a get higher level, you have to pay. Or possibly, yeah, I thought it was pretty self explanatory. There's no level cap like that. This person in the question the explained about World of Warcraft, too. All right, cool additions to okay, the game. You have to spend and it makes sense. And holy shit, choice. man, come on, you like it enough, then you spend the money. Not, oh, I right from the get go start fucking paying a subscription oh, God. and then decide whether or not I want this to. This is the longest one ever, I think. That doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> Lined up, honestly, I, I was excited. It really didn't make much sense. I think it was just an experiment that a lot of these companies were trying. And people were trying MMOs for the first time. They were adopting that model, but now it's outdated and it's not really sustainable anymore. Especially with the way the economy oh, is in some parts of the world, people don't have a lot Amazing. of money. How can I it's the economy's fault. Amount of money you play the game it doesn't make sense.
<laughs> oh, Sip, shout out. Big ups, Joe Dub says Phil by Do himself doing wrestling sims is very bad. Agree. Model? Absolutely not. Worst. There are always going to be <laughs> yeah, games is. where the budget, the production budget, things like that are huge. And there's no way that they could just give you the game for free and hope that later on you're going to pay for it. <laughs> yeah. I think that what will happen is for these big budget games, these mm -hmm. blockbusters, you'll have Black demos busters. like we have right now. Mass Effect 3 had a demo, Assassin's Creed has a demo, all these games have demos that you can try out, and then if you like the game, you go buy the retail game. Yeah, I can go to the demo model. There definitely is an increasing marketplace for these free-to-play games. I think that the okay. model works, especially for oh, games. Oh, it does work. Maybe like Blacklight, where, all right, maybe I, uh, Ooh, you Blacklight, know, I back heard about to Blacklight it. Tango Down. I never really played it. Um, I want to try this out and see if it's really a good game, and then later on I'll make the decision whether or not I want to continue playing and jump money into it if I feel that it's a good enough game. I think that those kind of games that don't have the mainstream <laughs> coverage, the media coverage, the ability yeah. to advertise and say, hey, look, it's Mass Effect 3, you know what I mean? <laughs> what, are those are, what are these hands doing? The games that are going to benefit from the free to play. Oh, I'm really feeling it. <laughs> have a good finger. Play model, and I definitely see it increasingly becoming. Uh, a model that's used more by especially more independent developers in the future. So I guess we'll see what happens with that. All right. So his his official take was it'll happen from individual de ind independent developers more than AAA titles, which uh, it's not his worst Indie take style. ever. Not his worst no, take no. ever. Not his best by far. But he had ex he explained it for nine minutes, and then the answer was ten seconds. I was to say one of his All longest takes right. ever. Yeah. Jeez. Well, son of a bitch, Phil. I've tried month after month to get at least one question, which are good, decent questions, answered. And yet, you still haven't picked one for Ask the King. Oh, God. What's even worse, you don't even pick decent questions like mine, but you pick some retarded questions like Sonic sex oh. questions. So my question is this, why the hell do you do this to your fans? And that question is from Dank. Well, Dank, it's like this. Here comes a bad joke. absolutely... Hate yeah. all of my fans. I hate yep. you. Wow. I specifically every single ALT, one bud. skip Come on. your yep. specific questions. Can't be that accurate. Just Scary. to piss you off. And neener, 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 fuck you. Hell Ooh. yeah. I love okay. a good Obviously, neener, neener, neener. I mean, let's really put this not in perspective. Not too often you get one. Ask the king. How does it work? I ask my fans to submit questions on the forums uh, in a thread. Uh, for one monthly episode. Now let's ex and explain how I usually, ask get questions. I get a, a giant group of questions at the beginning <laughs> of the month, right when this episode oh, oh. airs, and everyone's like, oh shit, let me submit questions for next month's episode. And then everybody's so like, the excited week to submit before, their questions. I'll mention that Ask the King's coming up in a channel update or the weekend preview, and people run to the forums and post the questions again. And then, people of course, literally run to the forums. Twitter, and every Can't month get there fast enough. <laughs> you think go, there's go, a fire go, or something. Go to the forums! Go, go, go! time period, I get about 100 questions on Twitter. So you're talking, I get anywhere from 200 to, I think the most I ever got was like over 500 questions in Whoa. a month. And I have to review them all within an hour or two in one hey, 500. day. 500? Okay? No, you don't. So, I'll be honest. No, you don't. You hear what he said there? I have to review, to review them all, all of them in one day, in one in hour. One day. Yeah, yeah. You could do this a little bit every day, you know. I mean, that's possible. All right, that question is shit. This question's good. You know, it doesn't be a one no, hour. No, no, thing. no. We have to do it all at once. Oh. Like it's a, a we gotta cram it in uh, homework style. You oh, know, at the last got minute. It. Got it. Got it. Sometimes got it. I probably just miss a question. I don't read it. I try to read every question actively. Okay. Okay. But what you have to understand is number one, I have a limited amount of time. Okay. I number spend one. About an hour each month with you know two thirty-minute episodes of Ask the King, and I have to pick and choose the questions. Uh, where's I'm number going two, sir? What I try to do is I try to pick the questions that are the most pertinent to what's going on at the time, to what I also feel. I can give an entertaining and informed answer on. Right. That was there a list like, that just had one item, by the way. Fun questions, I'll be honest. People ask I love me about that. Stuff, I love that. And I'm just not but this, this stuff, just okay. says, though, that he thinks that the Sonic uh, uh, erotic whatever that he answered to or that that person used as an example was something that he thought would be funny. Yes, absolutely. He, he, that picked, was... he picked these questions, and this is him outright saying that he thought it was funny enough that he was going to include it. Uh -huh. I love it. I got that. my ass about a Whoa. subject that I really don't know a lot about or I don't have a feeling about. It doesn't make sense. And there actually have been some questions on Ask the King where I wasn't informed, and I answered the question based off of the phrasing of the question and then come to find out the person who asked the question wasn't informed properly was in uh, misinformation it was nothing i could do <laughs> they asked the question wrong <laughs> oh wow that's a new one the question and then come to find out the person who asked the question wasn't informed properly was had misinformation and then i ended up looking stupid oh I mean, that, I that's true. Um. about the questions i 
I answered about Minecraft when I was completely off base or incorrect or misinformed, <laughs> and then I had rabid fans jumping down my throat. How dare you say that about Minecraft? So, you know, I have to, you know, over time, you get I, by it. the way, I'm getting better at it, over time, picking the right questions. But wow, he's improving. I have to, number one, pick questions that I'm He's leveling about. up. Number two, do it in a he's very not the same guy he was yesterday, three, guys. Pick questions that I can give an, uh, interesting and entertaining answers on. Okay. So, you know, I'm sure there are fans who probably submit questions every month, and I haven't answered them, and I apologize for that. I can't answer every single question. I do make an active effort to answer the questions active that effort. I feel I can answer in an intelligent way informed entertaining manner and thank i'm sure that you're happy that uh, the, i finally answered your question Rex or whatever Too yeah petasaurus by foot your yeah. favorite dinosaur about you know about something in the gaming world but oh well at least i answered your question okay get fucked dank i answered your question that's uh, okay. all you can ask for next question dear phil as you may or may not know a group of people on your forums have decided to do a king of hate podcast every week so far, we plan on covering things such as forum yes, news, gaming is true. news, some real-life topics, and general this news. This is true. We're running DSP and company. What are your thoughts on this, and do you plan on supporting an elite Lots group of guys that would have been? Um, first of all, I think it's awesome that forum members, my fans in general, just people part of the DSP community, you know what I mean? First of all, feel that they have a community. That's <laughs> awesome that people kind of have a, a group of fans based around my content on YouTube and elsewhere. Do you imagine if how DSP good it used to had be. a real community? Uh-huh. This is how they used to. You know, they used to have it. It's crazy. They used to have That's a podcast wild. about people enjoying, like, the community of DSP. He had it, guys. And I he squandered the whole thing. Yeah. It was called, I'll show you, I'm not, we're not going to listen to it here, I promise you that. But it's the King of Hate Forums, it has still, their YouTube channel is still up, um, it is still rocking and rolling here. Uh, they had air, they interviewed the Air Raid Lord, I mean, no, that's a great, that's a great get. Um, they had, they interviewed Foes, the famous Foes, which is a female style uh, moderator that left. Uh, this all ended, however, when at the great moderator uh, exodus, let's say, uh, that killed the first forums, and that is when they stopped making things. And some people theorize that is when really the you know the, the sense of community was totally gone. Right? They they just totally left. And when he you know people notice that he treats his moderators like 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 assholes. Like, I mean, that's what he does. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so, that'll do it to you. Yeah, he doesn't do what he says. The, the moderators are saying, "All right, Phil, we're having a tough time with this. Can you please you know." You know, follow your own rules. He would not do that. So it makes sense because they were kind of normal people. Oddly enough, you can believe it. If you listen to these, you know. Um, that and, is uh, hard to believe, but yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah they were normalists, I'll tell you. Um, and I've tried to listen to a few of these, searching for gold dust. It's tough. It's very tough. <laughs> as You know, as you can see, you can see I've listened to foes. I've tried foes a few times. I've yeah. tried this one. That's, that's as much as I can do. I respect the hustle, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's tough, guys. It's been tough. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah that, that's what, but this anyways they're talking about that podcast that this channel right here you can see so that's what they're talking about here and they feel that they can mingle with each other they can oh they interviewed phil as well mr stuff do you have that i won't listen to it tonight but that would be worth it now that yeah now the community is Derek and jade and slayer and people that give him money that don't even spend time in chat that's that's the community now on YouTube and elsewhere. Wow, and they the meaningful that. part is still there, and it's the support. That's uh, all we. Yes. That's all you need in the end. <laughs> yeah, they weren't. That's the best way to say it. They weren't absolutely dented. No, they were normal style. They can mingle with each other. They can network with each other. I support fan base projects. I do. <laughs> um, there haven't really been a heck of a lot. Out do you support Derek's playlist projects? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to collect the group of small females of, of young females in playlists. Things going on on the forums. Uh, uh, there have been things that have been attempted, like Steam groups. There is a, a Dark Side Phil Steam group, by ooh, the way. Steam you can group. find more about that. I'm trying to join uh, that. Uh -huh. I'm trying to play to uh, games with um, some fellow devs. At one point, I had a Team Fortress 2 server. Unfortunately, I had no time to play on it, and I ended up shutting it down because since I was never on it, people stopped playing on it. So there are these cool initiatives that get started up. Now, I had no idea there was a King of Hate podcast. I really didn't. I had not a clue that this thing existed. And then I just noticed yesterday yeah. on my forums at the King of Hate. I will. I will. That's a big project, though. That's a real project. Like, a deep dive in all the moderators that left. That's a big project. I want to, though. The Great Mod Exodus needs more fucking 
coverage that's for sure coverage yeah yeah, yeah. So you're the guy though yeah. if you ask me I am, I am i am no it's people have covered it before but you know i gotta i just gotta get into it myself that's tough an announcement on the forums and for the first time i took a look at it and i clicked on it i, I listened to it just a little bit as you know i'm very busy you know with what i'm doing uh -huh. i don't have time to unfortunately yes, listen yes it to, is uh, ludwig von yes it is podcast, but it seems like it's an interesting start. Um, I think the, the, the guys who are on this podcast are learning a lot about the podcast the more that they do it. Um, They're learning more about the podcast the more they do it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that is how experience works. Yeah, I would but say so. Th they're learning about podcasting. Sure, but they're not learning more about the podcast, are they? <laughs> oh, well, when you say it like that. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. <laughs> That's I, I, see, said. I filled in the blanks. Yeah. No, you're right. Don't I just, fill in the podcast. I just <laughs> fill it in. It seems like it's an interesting start. Um, I think the, the the guys who are on this podcast are learning a lot about the podcast see? the way that they do it. Yeah, um, you're right. If you have, you know, a few hours to burn and you just want to see what's going on with some of the, D the DSP community and fans, go check out the podcast. So like I said, right now, if you go to thekingofhate.com, right there on the forums, right there, it shows you the YouTube channel they've created for it. And there's four episodes that have been created so far. I definitely think that the show will probably get better in time. <laughs> um, wow. So why don't you just say it fucking sucks then, dude? Damn. Yeah, no shit. What a scathing review. Holy God damn. Shit, man. Oh, God. All right. Well, let's, let's listen to one, literally one minute of the first episode of this podcast that was recorded, uh, let's see, 26 days before the show we're watching right now. One minute limit. Welcome to the very first King of Hate podcast. And it'll be the first one and hopefully not the last one. It's like the pilot one because we're still testing out on stuff. Uh, I am Pete, but, may, but many of you will know me in the forum as P-Dog. Oh, P-Dog. Big ass P-Dog. P-Dog. Yeah, okay, so I have podcast. heard these actually. Oh, you have heard this one or you've heard of P-Dog? I've heard of, well, I have heard of Pete, but I think yeah. I've listened to a couple of these. I want to say I caught like an ex Mortis stream one time and he was watching this, but it was a, it was a while ago. Okay. I didn't even know at the time. Yeah. Pete dog has, has been around for a while. He has broken Pignosis now, I believe, but he was a fan for a long time. Uh, I'm Matt and uh, I'm a moderator, also known as Beachy. Beachy, big ass Beachy. I'm uh, Buck Kurosaki, also known as Riding the Bloods on YouTube. And right. He seems kind of he's kind of scary. Yeah, and, uh, yeah he, he may needs a new microphone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a, his he appearance might, isn't coming out great. He sounds like he might cut off my head later, My but name's all right. Rory. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the reason why we've been doing this podcast is because um, we have like I think like the, it kind of all started from the thread that uh, I think Run Devil Run created about the the radio show and then people were saying no let's not do a radio shows do a podcast instead so then i was kind of like okay like like everyone was saying do a podcast but then like nobody really can following in the background so that was, was like, okay, you know fine i'm gonna i might as well do something i'm bored on my mind i've got too much free time on my hands okay so okay just... i'm done with this i can't handle it let's do um this to check out the, the twitter of t the king of hate beachy shout outs to beachy uh, the last post of the King of Hate Beachy was in 2011. Guess this didn't last, sadly. No. King of Hate Beachy. His last Another fallen soldier. His last tweet was, this post is unavailable, but he's responding to Super John Rambo, and they call me DSP with have fun. So there we go. Um, next, let's check P-Dog's channel. What's P-Dog up to? How you doing, No wonder the Argentinian war is so rough on DSP. He's lost so many people. <laughs> uh, I think he has some shit about DSP. Top 10 reasons why 2010 was DSP's golden year. <laughs> I want to watch that so bad. Uh, let's just sit here, stretch out my legs and relax. And let's check out my uh, YouTube channel to see how my Street Fighter 4 review's been doing. Look at this shirt. Big up. He's looking dapper. Maroon. <laughs> getting a lot of hits. Look at the tissue box. Dude, can you be more obvious with your tissue box placement here? I mean, Jeez. come on. <laughs> Just right there to grab. Here we go. Editing style, what Philip? What the fuck? What? Hello again, everyone. I don't know what we're watching anymore. 
<laughs> so I'm very, very proud yeah, to be Jade. here tonight. Oh, Jade Raymond, big ups. To present the very first MTV Lifetime Achievement Game Award to Hideo Kojima. Hell yeah! No. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is a. Listen to this. Oh. That's it. Oh. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> Have you seen this? I haven't. <laughs> Those weren't buttoned. Those oh. weren't buttoned. Oh my god. Oh, it. He's oh. holding it together. I can't believe this shit. I cannot fucking believe it. Can you believe what they did? What's going on guys? Pete Oak here and today I bring to you a special video. A video concerning a YouTuber I've watched ever since I began on YouTube way back in 2009. A tribute, a highlight reel, a nostalgia trip, a 150 minute heat filled montage. Interpret this video as you may, but it's obvious about the YouTuber I am referring to. I am, of course, talking about this is a re Fred. I mean, he is obviously the funniest guy on YouTube. Oh my god! And I have to make a video about just how good he is. I'm joking, of course. I am actually referring to the king of hate himself, Dark Side Phil. I love this. Oh my god! I love this so Look much. at this. I haven't seen any of this. Love him, hate him, or just don't care about him. You would have definitely heard his name being thrown on YouTube. in the background? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Tito, come back. Door open? Same DSP, Pick dude. Up. Door open, dude? If you're a gamer. So today, I want to go... Oh my god, take audio. A look back. This audio, man. It's going nuts. Got the quote, old DSP. I'm referring... To All right. We got okay. Let's get through Ask the King, and then we got some buffer time before the restream. We'll All watch right, yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Let's get this back to Ask awesome, the King. This is awesome, though. I'm loving They're this. Awesome. <laughs> I think the first couple episodes is that whoever you know, who, who, I'm not sure who was like the centric person organizing it, but I think there were some problems with mics and echoing and such. And obviously, the best way to do a podcast, you need to have a headset. You can't have your speakers going. And I think some of the guys have their speakers playing. Oh with yeah, yeah, yeah. We were saying they suck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they were the explaining how much they suck. But I think over yeah. time, if they continue to do this show, it'll get better. Just like everything. Let's uh -huh. face it. When so I first started, it totally sucks right now. On YouTube and on but the it'll internet, get good. It wasn't okay. Great. Okay. Most of the time, right. it's still not great. But uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, great. Okay. Thing. Let's face it. When I first started doing stuff on YouTube and on the internet, it wasn't great. Self-deprecation. Most of the time, it's still not great. But, uh, <laughs> Professional. Um, if, you're, if, if, if you have cool a little bit of a little bit of charm like said, on you, you can get away with that. To but to the full shows, but <laughs> not DSP. It's always cool to bring some attention to it. So if you're interested, go check that out. Okay. Okay. We're running okay. out of time for part one here. Got about five minutes left. So let's get through another couple questions. Uh, next question. Hi, Phil. Oh yeah. It goes without saying that your videos are inspiring to all your fans, and that you have basically created the commentary <laughs> oh my God. for video. They're inspiring. inspiring. Since you yeah, it goes without saying, it, obviously. <laughs> inspiring. Many other people have decided to do the same thing as you, meaning live action game commentaries for playthroughs. Um, my question is this. Uh, what top three tips could you give inspiring Let's Players to help them do these kinds of videos? I feel... Ooh, mama. All right. Wow. Just try to guess one. I'll give you that. Try to guess one tip to help aspiring um. Let's Players. I think he's going to be corny enough to say, like, believe in it or something. Oh, okay. Believe in yourself kind of style? Yeah. Okay. I'll say... Uh, fuck. All right. I'll, I'll say he's going to say... Be be true to yourself or something like that. Like, mm. be true to yourself. That kind of thing. Something like that. Be true to yourself. <laughs> this would help them. Coming from a man with such experience uh, such as yourself, keep up the great work. And that's from P Dog, who's again another oh, longtime fan. Because P Dog. Go because P Dog. Uh, P Dog yeah, episode. P Dog episode. I don't know if I can think of three. I can definitely think of two. Oh, and God. the first would be. If you really want to be successful, you have we to find something these that's unique. And I think that when I started something doing unique. this stuff way back when, what was it, 2008, the fact that I was using a camera to do it, not direct capture, the fact that I was giving live commentary and off the fly, you know, on the fly improv stuff. It okay. wasn't First it was off the fly, then it was it on the fly. On the fly, fly improv, off. run of a game or a montage <laughs> okay. of you know, my best moments. It was just me playing a game and failing. Um, I think that that really captured an audience. And then, subsequently, when I started playing Street Fighter 4, being that I had previously been a Street Fighter pro, okay. per se, and I was uh, taking that perspective and bringing it into that game, and then, of course, 
I was hating on the people who were playing online, who were abusing lag, who were doing that kind of stuff. Oh, I think a lot of people oh hold yeah. on. In rec more recent years, you said that was intentional because everyone loved your complaining. But now you're saying you're something else? Hold on. And I was uh, taking that perspective and bringing it into okay. that game. And then, of course, I was hating on the people who were playing online, who were abusing lag, who were doing that kind of stuff. Ah. I think a lot of people loved oh. that perspective. They were like, it was due to the lag, the not, not ah. because it was comedy or oh. content. Okay. Okay, got it. I've seen. It definitely from the fighting game community. Um, so definitely do something. Him. You have to try to do something unique, and it's hard now because it seems like since then everyone's done it. You know what I mean? Everyone's took in their own shot at it. There's everyone does different does different ways, and so it's hard to say I'm doing it for the first time. Okay, so what's okay. your advice again? <laughs> what's your advice? <laughs> to be one of these innovators I think he's still saying uh, do something unique on the internet. He was an, he he just described well, himself as an innovator. Let's be clear. Innovators he, he says, I'm an innovator. I guess I was just oh. lucky to be one of these innovators during a time when this was becoming oh. way more mainstream. I was, I was lucky to be an innovator. What I would also say is, whatever Hell you're yeah. doing, have fun doing it. People are going to notice if you're doing it and you're not having fun. Have fun, you're doing all right. It just to, to, for the sake oh, I wish you would listen to, to that today. Make money. <laughs> have fun. People can tell when you're not having fun. <laughs> so, whatever you're doing, you have to be, and be enjoying it. And so I definitely recommend, if you're going to start off, maybe play some of your favorite games. Or maybe play a game that you know is going to have some hilarious moments or problems that are going to be entertaining to your viewer. Um, and don't get frustrated. Pick a game That's to make thing. good people, content with, I guess. They do it. They make videos. Whether it's playthroughs or not, they make videos for YouTube. <sighs> They enjoyed the whole experience, and then the video videos of whatever reason don't catch on. The yeah, bottom line so is this. If you enjoyed what you were doing when you were doing it, it doesn't even matter if it ever catches on. You know what I mean? Who cares if only 20 people ever watched the video? Oh. If you had a blast making the video, then you fucking had fun. You didn't waste your own oh, time. Oh, great. Okay, cool. I really <laughs> wish you would listen to that today when he talks about his movie reviews not catching on uh -huh. or all those other things that he claims that he wants to do, but people just aren't watching them. Well, if you like making that content, then you should keep making it yeah i hate that about him finish up final fantasy 7 dude awesome oh, oh so like it that much the last question that i answer in this part um so that's my advice okay, okay. try to do something unique try to have fun doing what you're doing because okay. people will see if that you're have fun doing it and uh, and be genuine and uh, don't be phony and you know what I mean. Try to do it, do it just for the sake of doing it. And don't get frustrated if it doesn't catch on. Because if you enjoyed what you were doing, then it doesn't matter. It wasn't a waste awesome. of time to begin with. And okay, cool. In my case, I was enjoying what I was doing. I was being honest and I was okay. doing entertaining stuff. That Here's why I'm were the doing, best. And it caught on. So maybe yours will catch on too. Okay. Okay. All right. All right, so that's it for part one of Ask the King. I'll be back with part two, more forum questions and some Twitter questions. So stay tuned, and I'll be right back. Oh, still got the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, the wipe here. Stand up. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, I love when he includes the false stand up. Not There's just DSP no reason. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not DSP tries it, unfortunately. Oh, bullying? Hell yeah, dude. Oh, God. Bullying DLC endings unfair reviews. Oh, this one could be fire. Oh, I'm hype. I'm hype. <laughs> I believe. We could have a good one here. What's up, everyone? DSP. I'm back. Welcome back. Two part two of Ask the King hey, for March 2012. Let's get right back into it. I've still got plenty of questions to answer in the next half hour. Start my timer. Bam. Oh, All right. <clears throat> First question. <clears throat> hey, Phil. Yeah. Seeing with your name tag, the King of Hate, um, and mm. that it means that you were, well, part of the meaning is that you were hated on in the fighting game community. Well, oh, does when it? you were younger, it? by any chance, were hmm. you bullied in high school or in middle school? My nephew is facing <laughs> bullying issues right now. Many celebrities out there were bullied when they were younger, including Eminem, Megan Fox, <laughs> Justin Timberlake, Michael Jackson, and so it's nothing embarrassing. Also, <laughs> oh, you just know what this gentleman looks like, don't you? <laughs> you can make an easy mental picture of the person writing this uh, question, can't you? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh, yes. Oh, also, what sort yeah, of bullying with the verb, facing? Brother. Assault, verbal, etc. Thanks. That's from Alex Maipong, also a forum user. Alex Maipong, um, get out. Um, I like that well, it happened to celebrities, so it's not embarrassing, was, was the, uh, yeah. the theme there. A lot of people were bullied. Um, I think All it's right. an interesting Thank you for helping your membership. I appreciate that. Become entertainers were bullied. Um... What kind of bullying? Pretty channel. much every kind you can think of. Um, definitely... 
verbal, you know, people insulting me about okay. my looks. Yeah. Definitely about my looks. Oh. Um, right, they called you Phil with I've the oddly shaped head. So Phil with the oddly shaped head and also Sway at his uh, yeah, job. Yeah, they got Sway. <laughs> Back then, I was actually really skinny. Walking ATM. So I was Walking ATM. Oh, oh, he was so skinny. What was he called? I've been called so many things. Back then, I was actually really skinny. So I was called, you know, insulting things about being skinny, insulting things about my nose, insulting things about my hair. I was called Phil with the oddly shaped head. Hell yeah! <laughs> yes! Da, 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 da. Phil with the oddly shaped head. <laughs> I, I didn't I, know there was two of these. <laughs> I wish we got the nose. What was he called for the nose? I want to hear the nose one. <laughs> Always insulting things about my hair. I was called Phil with the oddly shaped head. Yeah. That was actually a nickname Classic. I had at one point. Um, oh, nose? I know. People would be like, what the fuck? Oh, uh, no, no. No, no one's saying what the <laughs> fuck. Everyone's kind of like, oh, okay. I got it. You know? Oh, well, you get it. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> That's what people are really saying. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? That's a that's a logical thing to come to. And you know I, why, by the way, is because this hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Look at that. This is I love the Zelda jammies. <laughs> Phil with the oddly shaped head. Yeah. All right. Um I was physically bullied. I can remember being Ooh. in the locker room, being pushed around, being punched, you know, being getting wedgies and stuff like that. Oh my god, dude. Wedgies. Where and are stuff? those stories? Dude, why don't we hear more of these wedgie stories? I think That's what I'm saying. It's tough to turn that into being a badass, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They dunked my head in the toilet, but, like, everybody was super scared of me, dude. Yeah, but then after that, I, like, I got up and said, if you guys do that one more time, I'm going to kick your ass. And they ran away, so totally worked, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I want, though. I live for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh... It's unfortunate that it happens, and I know that if you want my honest opinion, <laughs> high school is a formative time for a lot of people, meaning people are, are becoming adults for the first time, and they're realizing for are the they? first time uh, okay. through puberty or whatever, oh, gee, I'm actually a pretty big guy. Oh, gee, I have power oh for the first God. time in my life. Well, I want to feel good is about that myself, it was like? so let me go use that power to push other people around. Oh, and my God. They get, the, they get their jollies off because of it, okay? Oh. And it's just this is not a normal human being right here. What the fuck? It's the first time they noticed they were adults, so they said, "Let me use. Right, I got a lot of power here. Let me use that I'm power." Bully people. <laughs> what? Okay. It's like later on in life, when people get different kinds of power, whether it's okay, now I'm in a big corporate level job and I have the ability to push people around. Let me make sure that I get a five billion dollar bonus this year, and who gives a fuck about any of my? Oh, employees? that's yeah, you know? and that's the kind of I do that all the time too. When it comes down, yeah. let me get Over a five here, billion dollar bonus. <laughs> let me get a five billion dollar bonus and fuck everyone else. Uh huh. <laughs> so, oh, you're living the high life myself. That's yeah. how it is. <laughs> that's how it goes. Once you realize you have power, that's the key. You have to realize it. It has to be your Believe first time. Yourself. The first time you are becoming an adult, too. It cannot be your second time. That's that's different time. <laughs> the first time is key. People around, let me make sure that I get a $5 billion bonus this year, and who gives a fuck about any of my employees, you know? Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of bullying, too, when it comes down to it. So it's all about power and being in a position to have power. Um, <clears throat> and in my experiences, I'll be honest, there was no perfect solution. There was never one time there was a, an epi a, epiphany and everything got better, okay? What gradually right. happened was over the course of my high school... There we go. Get ready. Get ready, Adam. We need you. We need you here. This is permanently on. I won't keep it on, but just know this <laughs> is going constantly. Here we go. This, this is where we get good. ...school years. Some of the bullies who actually were bullying me realized that I was a funny guy <laughs> and befriended me in the <laughs> long run. And in the long run, we ended up becoming friends and actually going to college together. So a lot of that stuff can flip, and it's funny how it flips. Um, but it was a rough time. There <laughs> He actually found out I was pretty funny. He was like, why am I punching you? I was pretty funny, dude. There were times when I had to obviously go talk to authorities at school because there were people uh -huh. who were fucking with my stuff. I can't tell you how many times I, my book bag, they would yank on my book bag and rip the book, the physically rip the strap off my book bag just to be assholes. <laughs> and it's like, I don't oh my that. God, I can't count the number of times that happened? Holy shit, man. That's not funny, but that's no, really it's not. funny. Like, if it was anybody else, you know, like you, you, if it was anyone else, you'd be like, oh, that's a tough situation. But yeah, you see that what is he became. rough. But like, 
It being DSP. Yeah, I'll let, you, I'll let it slide this you loved, time. You love to hear it. A lot of money. I can't go be buying book bags every fucking week because you think it's funny to yank on my book bag. And, you know, I didn't necessarily want to... Oh, yeah, that's it. good points, dude. This was. The Snitchinator was born, maybe, from this tattling. <laughs> but this is a rightful snitch. I'm going to give him credit for this. This is a yeah, rightful no, snitch. Yeah, no, they're definitely doing him dirty. You have to snitch. <laughs> I would snitch, too. You have to snitch. Every fucking week because you think it's funny to yank on my book bag. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't necessarily want to fight back. I'm going to be honest, I did fight back eventually. At one point, one kid was pushing me around so so much that I pushed him against the wall in the computer lab and put a dent in the fucking wall. And after uh -huh, uh -huh. What a badass, dude. I love this DSP guy. He's so cool. Dent in the wall. I think he wised up. Um, but fighting back is always the answer, uh -huh. <laughs> Especially if the person is much bigger than you and you're probably going to get your ass beat if you do. So I, I wish I could give everyone this, like, really amazing advice and say this is exactly what you should do if you're being bullied and this is the solution but i don't think there is one i think put that a dent people in the eventually wall. mature to the point where they realize that they were abusing natural gifts like let's be honest <laughs> they were abusing natural gifts they realized this by the way holy shit man he's gonna say they realized they were abusing natural gifts like they're x-men <laughs> These guys are X-Men, I believe. Yo, he was a huge X-Men <laughs> fan. Like, he he might really be living his life like this. Oh, yeah. Big up, Saiviga. He cried on his knees, begging for them not to hurt him because he's an alcoholic. Could be. But then they realized they were abusing their natural gifts. If you're being bullied and this is the solution, but I don't think there is one. Here we go. I think that people eventually mature to the point where they realize that they were abusing natural gifts. Like, let's be honest. Oh, my God. The bullies, if they're bigger than you, yeah. is it your fault? No. Is it <laughs> anything to do with them? No. They were naturally genetically bigger than you, so they can bully you around. And that's not what? fair. And then, uh, if you're not, That's not fair. I'm talking about physical bullying, but just verbal bullying. Some people, you know. What? What are they making fun of you of? Because, because you're ugly? Um, you know, I don't want to say ugly, but maybe because you look different than them, you know what I mean? Not everyone is blessed with the best genetic gifts. It's not your fault. And so for them to be... Some of us have defective genetics, if you will. Making fun of something like that is pretty fucked up. Um, oh my god. But yeah, I wish that. The best advice I can give you is this. Don't flip out about it. It happens to everyone. There's going to be miserable times in your life when this kind of shit's going to happen. It will get better. People will mature. But uh, there is a point also that you just have to stand up for yourself. You cannot okay. let yourself be bullied continuously and be have it become Inspiration a side fill, dude. It, it happened to him so much he can't remember how many times it happened. Remember that. But yes, you have to stick up for yourself at some point. Well, it seems like you should have stuck up to yourself a little bit earlier than that, brother. In one way or the other. Even if it's just snitching. Because in this case, I do promote snitching. If you're getting beat up that much at school, please snitch. Please. Oh, at, yeah, at school, that is, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please snitch. But what he, what he's saying now is it, it, you do have to stand up at some point, but also know that it will stop eventually if you don't, if you just let it, let it run its course. What are we talking, years here? Come on. Better people will mature. But uh, there is a point also that you well, just find out that they're to... abusing their natural gifts. Ah, uh, yes. That's how, yes. That's all you got to wait for. Yes, yes. Stand up for yourself. You cannot let yourself be bullied continuously and be have it become a habit in your life, a pattern in your life. You, you make it a habit to be bullied. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make it a habit. Oh, let me go to the locker room real quick, get my first wedgie of the day out of the way. Okay. Next, let me walk. I've been past looking forward this to this one all day. <laughs> yeah, let's walk past the dude that pulls on my book bag so bad it pulls it off. Okay, there, that guy's done. Uh, next, yeah, I love that. That's my favorite part. Let me go to the locker room now while I get pushed around because that's really cool. And yeah, good thing Phil has uh, stopped this bullying. By the way, he's really stood up to it. Uh, I wonder how long. You know, this is what you think about. He's saying this on the stream. This means he was bullied for fucking years, dude. Years. You know. Because oh yeah, he wouldn't be he wouldn't be divulging all of this if it wasn't like so much that he was leaving out. Yes. It's amazing how much he was probably bullied, dude. There's a point where you have self-respect for yourself okay. and you have to stand up at some really point. Really can't blame any people though. I've I've seen that. I don't that. know yeah. what the right point is though, okay? I, that's what I mean. Like I don't want to say it to everyone at this exact point is where you do that. Um but what I definitely say especially if you're being repeatedly bullied physically and 
verbally. You got to tell someone, whether it's your parents, whether it's some authority at school. Yep, right. You got to at least make them aware of the situation because you don't want that day when you snap and you fight back and you Ooh. deck the fucking guy. Ooh. And then he goes and then, oh, well, you know, Phil hit me. Uh, uh. And then when they ask you why, you can say, well, I've been telling you for the past two years this asshole was bullying me and you didn't do a fucking thing about the it. Wait, two I years is about, about the amount of time myself. that you should uh-huh. wait. Much better case then than if it's the first time they're ever hearing about it. So... That's just my take on it. All right, great take. All right. Next question. (laughs) Phil, what is the state of your gaming office? (laughs) You're looking at it. it Nice little. Oh, no. Uh, You're good. Air quotes. Yeah, yes, that was air quotes. But the gaming office is when he was talking about renting out a place for. Yeah, yeah, because he wanted employees. Reasons, yes. (laughs) Big fan, JC15U2. Um, and just so everyone knows, he's not the only person to ask that question. That oh, was a common question thank you. this time around. And what he's talking about is last year and even earlier than that, I think in 2010 was as early as 2010, I was talking about the possibility of actually renting out office space where I could do playthroughs. I could have multiple setups always set up there so that we could just Why? walk in. Myself, John Rambo, my friends could just walk in, sit down, and do co op playthroughs. But also, that I would have filming space. I would have okay. places oh, to gotta do have that. things like green screen oh, effects yeah, on dude. videos. Oh, like like green screen. That'd be cool. Or have a more a professional You're going to shoot so much setting. stuff for the green screen. That'd be awesome. I have this space to do it. Here's the deal. Um, right now, okay. I'm doing pretty Big well ups, for gels. myself. I'm making some decent money. Oh, 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 I'm, working oh, oh, oh. I'm doing pretty well for myself. I'm making some decent money. Hell yeah. And I'm working little flex, on... Little flex. Uh-huh. And I'm, look, I'm eyeing up some, some figures. But once I get through buying all the figures I want, I'm interested in making an office. <laughs> so as you see, this year some things have changed. Project 7 is one of the, the major things that uh-huh. have changed. The fact that I'm trying to travel uh, and go to gaming conventions. I'm going to be one of the featured guests at Too Many Games. Gaming convention in Pennsylvania in June of this year. Okay, hold on. Too many games feature... Okay, I believe every single thing he went to, he asked to be on. So can you be a featured guest if you ask them? You know, like, is that possible? Excuse me, too many games. I'd like to be at your convention. I'm also the featured guest. Is that possible? Well, uh, to be fair, I'm also a featured guest, and I asked to be here, so <laughs> yeah, that's I, true. I feel a little insulted, but that's okay. That's fine. I won't take it personally. <laughs> I, I don't think he was a featured guest. I don't think he can say that. <laughs> now I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for some uh, uh, money demon corner demon. I only got a few halfway ones, but I'm waiting for an epic one today. Check out too many games to find out about that. But okay. anyway, these kind of things are going on. They're different. There's things that are check out too many games. I guess it's too many games. Gaming convention in Pennsylvania in June of this year. 2012. All right, let me check. About that. But anyway, these kind of I'm things the are going on. They're yeah. different. There's things that are changes happening. Um, the office is something a lot that of changes. I held off on because I was can't get an office. I'm going to the time There was risks for Okay, the- you want to see? Okay, let's get rid of this one. All right, let's see. Uh, this is. Right, this- oh my god. Shit, loud as shit. Sorry. <laughs> this is the day three of Too Many Games 2012. Counting down to the end. This is the featured guest uh, section of the convention, as you can see. Uh, oh, yeah. He, he looks really important. Looks uh-huh. really done up. Uh huh. Day three of Too Many Games 2012. Counting down to the end here. We actually. We're slow on the go today. The convention opened at 10. We didn't get here till almost like 1. <laughs> wow. The featured guest. <laughs> featured guest. But we didn't show up till 1. Uh, we were beat from last night going to Arnold's Family Fun Center. It was fun. Playing ticket games. We got they, some, so they were yeah. they were super tired from doing something that wasn't the convention, the thing that's for like his job. So they I, showed up late. Yes, I guess when you're the featured guest, you kind of make your own schedule. Uh, that's sh- kind of wild. <laughs> Shout outs <laughs> to Leanna with the Dasani and the Mio combo. So the Mio goes into there, and the tape they use to make this very serious, very professional stand for Leanna's sign that could be for. Candles, I guess. I can't tell what's on that. We'll see if we get any more information. Three minute video. Let's watch it. So the mini bosses, etc. 
And uh, we wanted to sleep in one day. Today was that day. Oh. <laughs> so we're just hanging out here at the booth. The day we were supposed products. to go to the convention was the day we decided to sleep in. All right, sounds good. What booth is this? Okay, so you can see on the left side, in between the water bottles, that's a Project 7. Project 7, yeah. Yeah, but what's... Project 7 in front of me, playing... Oh, it's just playing on a TV. <laughs> it's just playing. <laughs> It's just playing there on that TV, that sad TV. <laughs> That's awesome. I love oh, it. Oh, hold on. You're walking by, you know. Hold on. This looks hilarious. What is this? <laughs> He's shooting him in the balls? That's so funny, dude. I have to know. Who are you? <laughs> this is fucking awesome. Well, let me tell you something. I am the featured guest at Just Too Many Back Games. in 2010. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's all, all very much for the engagement. Look how many today. candles there are. It. Holy shit. Holy shit. Leanna's taking over. Hoping to sell some more merch. And uh, the main attraction as you can see is the angry video game nerd over there. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. Wow. He's got some stuff going on. Hell yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, that's a feature. There's guest. actually people at his uh, at his table. Look we, at that. Look at that. We can't see the end of the line in this shot. We can, that line is continuing past the the the, the right side. Now that's, yeah, that's that's a featured guest, boys. <laughs> Let's hear how Phil handles this. And uh, the main attraction, as you can see, is the angry video game nerd over there who is signing stuff. What's going on? Good. Uh, Fuck yourself. You did. Limited edition. Oh. Oh, oh my. Got it. <laughs> exactly in the perfect condition. Awesome. Can I autograph? Absolutely, you can have my autograph. This is really cool, man. Yeah. Uh, sign a cartridge. Cool. Yeah, well, I did think. I did. did the, He's wow. signing a I game. I thought he broke it at first. No, I mean, too, but... Oh, we get to see a sign in real life. Oh, Here hell we go. yeah. Side of the camera. No, don't put the camera back feet. down. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at look at daddy at work. Look at my hubby. hubby. Look at this guy. Hey, go hungry. Write that out. Look at he holds his pen. Yeah, I, I, you strange. know what? I'm I have a pet peeve about when people hold their pens all goofy like, and he looked the type to me to hold this pen a little yeah, a little silly. Uh, very dented way to hold a pen. I bet he's on top of a mountain right now, dude. Oh, he's so he's... excited to be signing something. His ego is. Uh huh. Oh look! Come on, show it. So as you can see, it's the box letter. It's very tough to see here. As you can see, oh, there you go, there you go. There's oh, a, yeah, yeah. one frame. You can see it. It's the box letter, all uppercase, dark side fill. Very cool. <laughs> very hype. Very yeah, very iconic signature style. Awesome. And let me tell you, that guy seemed like a very well socially adjusted individual. Very, very much so. I know it's different though. He was, uh, you know, you're young, you're meeting your hero, but that guy looked to be the ripe old age of what? 15 i'd say <laughs> you know as soon as i seen him come up with the sonic figure i was like this is this is trouble right here i'm not <laughs> yeah yeah this is a little you know, <laughs> she might have been in, she might he might have been in school with leanna the next day you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. matthew jenkins yeah that was me that was actually me <laughs> that was me next to it was chew <laughs> Girl, look at you yeah, you getting gifts all day i think the arms are coming off a little bit but that's all right super glue Oh, you're gonna yeah. complain about it, really? That is pretty cool. Man. Oh yeah, that's kind of shitty. I think there's a wire inside of the arm. I don't want to bend it right now and mess with it. Look at that, 15th anniversary. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog, 2006. So actually, he's uh, 21 years old now. Holy shit! Sonic's an old man. Pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. Dude, stuff like this yeah, very cool. You'll see later on in the acquisitions video all the stuff that my fans came by and shared with me. And yeah, like that paint. This is all AVGN code. Painting all that paint was amazing. <laughs> Spoil them. I'm oh. Wow. That's an awful face. Leanna, don't spoil them. I'm getting screenshot on that one, though. A lot of things can be done with that. <laughs> A lot of fun can be had. Just da, ba, 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 ba. spoilers. I'm giving them teases. Saving up. Ooh, it's tease. A it's, it's a painting hey, of every woman naked. is a tease. <laughs> Why is Van Wolf said? So, uh, it's we're just <laughs> relaxing right now. Um, Sonic's relaxing. She'll look at you, honey. Oh, sorry. Yep. Oh, it looks like a very. 
Okay, I can't really see him. It looks kind of like a not too happy about what's going on face here. You know? Oh, there it is. See, he's kind of like, uh, honey. I like that he to... waved when he was like, to show him the convention, <laughs> like, hit his show or where it was. <laughs> like, we see yeah. here pulled all the way back. Huge line for the angry video game nerd. Oh, look at this. We have to go. Oh. It's his hometown crowd. Okay. Huge That's line the only the reason, guys. He's got a hometown advantage. Uh, hometown crowd. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, is this the featured guest? Big candles left. Yep, we we're selling big candles. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Whoa, what's on that TV? It looks awesome. Still. No, go back to the TV. Oh, my God. There was an dude. explosion. Are you serious? Look at handmade, handmade gamer. Gamer. And do you have to put quotations around? Gamer gamers? earrings? Oh, gamer earrings. Big ups. We have Fatal Frame Style 1, Final Fantasy, one off style. Oh, we got style. Oh, all style. Oh, we got a Fatal style. Oh, yeah, they are style. <laughs> Fatal Frame style. One off style. Final Fantasy something style. Holy shit. Yeah, and that says deluxe, deluxe style. Oh, one off style. Oh, standard style. One, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. All those are styles in the middle. I was looking at the other ones. Oh, hell yeah. Look at Leanna's taking up all this fucking room, dude. No shit. He's got one actual screen. That's it. Okay, so Nugs and Medallion say, this is the dealer's room where you can pay for a booth to sell stuff. It's different from the panels that he requests to host. So yeah, th just to be clear though, he definitely requested to host this, right? He was not the fucking featured guest. He was, I think, a guest is my, is my so prediction. Four, earrings, I'm proud of myself. That was more than I figured. Got oh, Project 7 looks hype, dude. On a laptop? It's on a laptop? <laughs> I'll pay $100 for that little sheet of paper. Uh-huh. If anybody could get me that, I'm here for it. Oh, there's those business cards that definitely don't dox where he lives. Okay, great. Yeah. They don't, no doxing happening here. No doxing. Uh, I'm going frame by frame because it seems to be interesting. We got, uh, holy shit, Leanna's got four million business cards there. The blue and white things in between her yeah, no soaps. No shit. Jesus Christ. What's a business card from a soap maker? Uh, yeah, let me get your business card. I might buy the uh, Fatal Frame Deluxe Edition Soap. We got another card over here. What's this? Yeah, who is this? <laughs> what? Uh huh. I can't even read that. I cannot make that yeah, out. It's no. not happening. Oh my god, Leanne. Giant Need AI help scalers to fix that one. <laughs> candles. Let me see. Let's go. Oh wait. At oh, this might be someone not Leanna then. This is something gifts. Oh, god damn it! Come on. Ack fire air, gifts? Yeah. Arc fire gifts? This said air fire gifts. Arc fire gifts? That's, it looks like maybe it wasn't Leanna. I think Leanna was just the earring stuff. The candles is a different website I've never heard of. Oh, OJ I made complain candles? About the handwriting, though. Uh, Doomer Ziggy and Misery Merchant are on, on it. OJ car. That's the OJ card because OJ made soap too. Oh, oh, so she, oh, oh. Did, oh so oh, did Leanna pick up soap making from OJ then? Cool. That would be interesting. I didn't know OJ ever made soap. This is uh, new yeah. information to me. I, I saw him have a sell shit at some convention. I know it was this one, but there we go. OJ Strider is, um, I believe I have that. OJ was the Not actor in Project Ball. 7. Uh, he was better friends with Rambo than DSP, but he got brought into the mix for, through Rambo. He played Mario in Project 7. I'm gonna do some the stuff. Alien some stuff laptop. out of my eyes on all uh -huh. weekend, but we've been busy here. Hold them down. You know, at our booth, selling stuff with the panel and stuff. Look real busy, dude. And uh, didn't really have a chance to buy anything yet. So today is my day. I decided I will buy everything that I want today, which should be good. So uh, we'll have more later. Cool. Gotta spend money, dude. Uh -huh. What are we here for? Looks really right, cool, dude. All right, back to it. That was a long field trip. Things like so well, uh, or I had a good time, though. Possibly <laughs> could have changed YouTube, changed the internet, or censored it. That unfortunately, my yeah, job might have went away. Pippa. I love now, them. Now it seems like those things are kind of on the back burner. They're not necessarily completely gone. There's always going to be a risk, but it seems like the major looming threat has. How many been times do you have to talk about Sopa and Pippa to get a card? I know it's really dumb. I got to make the target bag and Sopa and Pippa. Unfortunately, <laughs> now. I don't mean to keep putting things on your example, plate, but... I'm need a new car very shortly. My car is on its last legs. Last so legs. So I'm going to need to get a new car very soon. 
and within the next couple of weeks, probably. Ooh. And I gotta get a be BMW pretty I mean, I was, soon, guys. I was gonna say, I hope you don't get a BMW. I mean, that'd be a kind of waste of money, but. <laughs> Hope you, don't lease Hope you don't lease a BMW. <laughs> as long as you don't lease it, I agree with this, all right? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have previously. Oh. Um, there's also the fact that I'm just really busy right now with stuff that's going on. And I don't necessarily Super have a lot busy. of time to go out Oh, my God. Yeah, if I get two hamsters, I'm naming them Sopa and Pippa. <laughs> that's a hype name for hamsters, let me tell you. For offices, per se. When I have more downtime, when there's less games coming out, um, and when I'm not necessarily bogged down oh. with other stuff that's going on, like right I'm now, not yeah, bogged I down. my taxes, I'm still involved with that, it's not done. Pretty soon Dude, I, have to find I did my oh. taxes literally last weekend. It took me, mm, I believe, two hours. Two hours. And I am also self-employed, my friends. Mm. Two hours, I was done, had no prep. I just went to the internet, like every other fucking human being on, on the world, and p- Built, you know, brought up all my receipts, all my pay stubs, because they're all online, and I put it in, and I was done. <laughs> so, what is this shit? He, since 2012, he's been saying taxes are this gargantuan, gargantuan ordeal. It's incredible. How about you, Atlas? What about your tax situation? Uh, Loki, my tax situation is a, uh, oh, it's a, it's on. a style. Uh, hold on, it's hold very on. simple style. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, it's simple I hand style. my information to my mom and she just uh, does it. Oh, like, so that's fine, too. That's fine, yeah, too. I just, <laughs> I'm still a baby child style. Oh, okay, so. baby child. Me, too. Yes, me, too. I'm like, right now, just yeah, born. I do my taxes. I'm still involved with that. It's not done. Pretty soon I have to find health insurance because I'm still on the Cobra health insurance from my previous... Oh, shout out, Cobra! Shout out Cobra! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> that's, that's what's up, tubes. Cobra! What's up, tubes? To get the health plan, tubes. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Hell yeah, dude! He's on the Cobra. <laughs> no, I'm not doing a Cobra. I'm not doing a Cobra. <laughs> Fuck it! I thought about it. I'm out. Next couple of months, that's gonna be an undertaking. I need to. He's been wild recently too. That'd be a uh-huh. field trip. There's all these things coming up that kind of like are taking up my my time when maybe I could have been worrying about looking for an office and setting that kind of stuff up. I'm actually still really interested in it, and I'm really thinking John that Dell got it. Well Bogle insurance. Year, Hell yeah, yeah. Bogle insurance, boys. <laughs> that I've been hearing about with Machinima, that it's definitely a major consideration for later this year, if not 2013. Um, I don't know what Cobra insurance is, Mikey, or anybody that's saying Cobra, but it it sounds, everyone's saying it's expensive. What is Cobra insurance? He casts a a spell, and then you get, like, good (laughs) vibes and stuff. Cobra? I guess. What is Cobra insurance? Yeah, let me know. U.S. Department of Labor. Gives workers and their families who lose their health benefits the right to choose to continue group health benefits. Oh, so when you lose your job, you can pay COBRA to continue your health insurance you had at a, at a job. Oh, okay. Okay, got it. Oh, got okay. It. Cool. It That's not as cool might... as magic, but, no, you know, I'll take but, it. you know, maybe, did they make wands? I doubt it, so. Agenda, but it's not oh, shit. Right now, I can say <laughs> when it does, got a business I idea for them if they don't. I'm still looking to dip. Okay. Uh, next question. Okay, Phil, next, for my speech course in college, I did my tribute speech about you. Oh. Wow. Wow. Again, Get help, bud. This speech is a tribute to someone who you respect and admire. How, I, I, you, you know how many times this dude got laid in college? It's 0.0. <laughs> 0. <laughs> I got a 92% on it. Whoa. My question is, why the fucking shitty balls didn't I get 100%? And that's from the gaming doctor. Okay, we got to find that guy. Well, the gaming doctor... I guess. Please, the the doctor. Doctor. Please have a YouTube Does your channel. Teacher looks something like this. Oh god, god, oh dude, god. it's tough, dude. It's tough. Sometimes it's tough. It's, tough. it's been tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Okay. not record, not anyway. rewinding. <laughs> I can't take stupid. this shit no more, Next man. Question. Not rewinding. Um, hey, Phil, I've recently seen a video on YouTube of this guy who he, estimated... Did, did he print that out for that joke, is the next question? Does your teacher Ooh, it is in color. This? And look, that's how he could print it out. He couldn't figure out how to print it out full screen, you know, to show the whole image. So it just cut yeah. it off. Yep. This is a prop. A, Dude, a designated prop. He printed that out and couldn't figure it out how to, how to crop it correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even get the joke right. Oh, Next question. Okay. Um, hey, Phil, I've recently seen a video on YouTube of this guy who estimated the amount of money that you make off of YouTube. Let's talk about this. Ooh, okay. Now 
you have my curiosity. And I'm curious of what you actually make off of the website. So what do you make from YouTube every day, month, year? Not trying to be rude, just curious. That's from The Mysterious Stranger. Now, I've talked about this before. Have you? It's a good time to bring it up again because it's been a while. Plus, he's right. Some Did guy, ever a good some time guy to bring this up? who on YouTube makes videos where he says, oh, I know how much this certain person makes money. Oh, we got to find those videos. What's the guy's name? Me off of YouTube. Name drop, you know, please. such and such. Makes this much a day, this much a month, this month a year, and I base this off of my own formulas because I'm a YouTube partner, and so I know, okay? All right. This guy, number one, doesn't know what he's talking about. Number oh, two, come on. has no business that talking with about that. He kind doesn't of know, dude. Don't want to know. You know they my don't contract want that kind is of different. Getting out there, that's kind of very yep. rude that this guy thinks that he could just fucking barge into someone's personal business like that. But the bottom line is this: this guy was completely wrong. This guy said, I make $227,000 a year just off of DSP gaming. He's oh, like, oh, so that, okay. Now that tells that's you. It. That's it right yeah, there. He's definitely making that much then. Because you hear that? Just off of DSP gaming is his qualifier. So he's making at least that much. Yep. 2012. It's just not all on DSP uh -huh. gaming. So he, he's not lying, dude. That's all you have to say. Thousand dollars a year just off of DSP gaming. That's an He's insane amount of money. The company, all shit, all of my channels, all of my God, efforts, imagine throwing all, all that, that away. He's just you could that much money when that look at the style of living where he's living. He is making that yep. much money in this housing situation. No kids, a girlfriend that doesn't even live with him. So you don't even have to nope. go out to eat. You could just you could and have he doesn't, so he doesn't do anything. Yeah. You could have so much money saved, dude. So much. Just saying, just off of DSP Gaming, I make that much. All right. Hugely incorrect. Let me put it that way. Okay. I, what I can say is this. The combination of everything I did in it's the past year Taco on Bell. DSP Gaming, uh -huh. everything I did in the past year on DSP Street Fighter, all the other outside endeavors I have on Cafe Press and stuff like that. <laughs> Cafe Press? <laughs> Cafe Press bringing you what? 50 bucks a month? And the money that I made was during his my, underwear at. Uh -huh. my time on Blip TV was nowhere close to $227,000. This guy's a fucking idiot. Okay. Number one, how does he think that he knows what people make? He says he's a YouTube partner. Well, guess what? I'm a machinima partner, oh, not a YouTube partner. Here we go. Dumb I fuck. said it. I called it. You have no it. idea. Dumb fuck. The formulas or anything that I, you know, based off of my views, what I make. And that's a stupid assumption that this guy thinks that he could know that. Mm. And number two. That's such a moron. Again, it's so rude that he thinks that he could do that. And it, Bottom line is he's wrong. He's grossly hey. overinflating what people make, so he's making it sound like, oh, it's a, it's a walk in the park. This is guy DSP. Really, you get rich on YouTube. He's an asshole. Okay, <laughs> and I left a comment on his video about it. And oh I don't God, we gotta comment. find out. Did anyone have any idea who he's talking about? Because I mean, how can we not find this DSP? It should be there if this guy's still up. Literally said about DSP. Okay, so this time it's the DSP gaming channel is already going. So DSP gaming. If I search earnings, it's going to be like, it's going to be hard to find. I got to do the, okay, I can do time search searches. So hold on. Before 2000, and I'll do it while we watch. Before <laughs> I, I was going to say, you were yeah. doing, wow, She's that's a lot. Wrong. Yes, okay. before anyway, 2012. The bottom line is this. Oh, God. Hey, bottom line, hey. <laughs> legally, I can't tell anyone what I make because that would be <laughs> telling people what the, my contract with Machinima is, and that's illegal. It's actually uh, a non-disclosure agreement ooh, in the signed contract NDAs. that says you can't tell people what you make. What I can tell you is this, and I've uh -oh. said this before, I'm actually making more than I made at my full-time desk job that I got laid off from in 2010, um, and I'm having a oh, hell of a lot you. of fun doing it. Okay, can we get to the point? As I've said uh, in no. previous videos, it's helped me immensely because I've gotten out of debt. I was actually in debt. Over the years, huh. just from different things that, that happened happen to me. Yeah. Uh, and just, oh my God, look at the you word, you wording. Just because of different things that have happened to me, different things that going have going to tournaments happened <laughs> to me, happened to me. You chose to get cash advances for money matches. Happened to me. In debt over the years, just from different things that had happened to me, uh -huh. and I'm almost completely yeah, out of just happened this to him, point, dude. which is the amazing. Game's I'm sure my credit score is fucking supremely happy that this has happened. Um, but 
I'm not living large. I'm not, you know what I mean? Look at me. Do I look like I, I, I'm, I'm a big pimpin'? Don't you think that if I <laughs> Big pimpin'? <laughs> big pimpin'? Big pimpin'? Spending cheese. <laughs> look at me. Do I look like I, I, I'm, I'm a big pimpin'? Don't you think that if I had. <laughs> big pimpin'? Hell yeah. Then I got the purple <laughs> cowboy hat. That Does went look, hard. Oh, I got it. That's a good sound clip. Yeah, that's a good uh, animation for contribution right there. Does it look like a big pimpin? <laughs> Do I look like you know, I, I'm, I'm big pimpin? Don't you think that if I had massive disposable income, that I would have gotten the office and I would have gotten this car right away and I would have got my back fixed and had the operation? Well, which you I would never do that anytime. So I would have just went and fucking did it. You know what I mean? That's what people don't understand. It's oh. Like, I don't know. I can't, well, uh, I can't get into it. Like I said, it's a non-disclosure agreement. I can't that's what people get don't get. I don't know. Number one. Right, that's what people good. don't get. I don't know. Okay, got it. Perfect. <laughs> just talking to hear myself talk. I don't know. I, I, some people don't know. I don't know. Okay. It's very rude. Okay. Oh. That you know, people rude. are trying to be in people's business. Oh. People are theorizing. And number two, this guy's completely wrong. Oh. And number three, I can't tell right. you what I make because of a contract. But what I can say is, who's this guy though? I'm enjoying what I'm yeah, doing. Say the guy's I'm name. I'm making good money doing it. I'm having fun doing it. And that's what matters. Okay. Okay. Next well, question. As long as you got right. that out. Um, and I'm running out of time and I have many questions. Fuck, I wonder I why. I have 15 minutes left. Let's get through it, okay? Phil, I've noticed that in several of your Hateful Truth reviews, such as Silent Hill Downpour, Final Fantasy XIII 2, and even Ninja Gaiden 3, you mentioned that people are scoring games based on nostalgic feelings they have for previous installments of the series. I realize that you score games and you try to give them a fair review based on how they compare to all other games that come out during the course of the year. I have a few questions about this. Oh, yeah. Is it wrong to compare mm. newer games in a series to the older games in the series? Should games that come out today be what? barred from comparison to games in the past? Is there... Why? A, a cutoff Ugh. point for comparing games, and what do you think it is? I don't and give do you a think shit it about this question. You're to compare games over a broader range of Who gives a fuck? Relevant. Thanks for the vids, and that is from Yahakihi. Okay, worst um, question of all time. Thank you. Question. No, is let's it? Let's get down to it, and let's be very concise in my answer. No. Please. You can't concise as possible. Off the past when you review a game. All right, hold on. I, I'm still searching for yeah 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 i figured as much i was searching and i found this uh this chant this this video is called is called dsp cock it is from 13 years ago let's give it a shot it's only one minute Holy so shit. I, I don't know if this is positive negative or what but it's called dsp cock let's go we gotta click that right i have left Dude, I mean, you know. fucking black cock. what's up everyone it's uh D cock here <laughs> Left these fucking black cocks. What's up, everyone? It's uh, deep cock here, uh, and I'm gonna do something a little different today, a little bit out of the box. I know that usually what I do is just regular cock here and there. I do maybe a review. What I'd like to do it today is because there's no real new cock out right now. It's some downtime during this year. There's no cock out right now. That's the joke. <laughs> to do it today is because there's no real new cock out right now it's some downtime during this year uh which i kind of expected after the first cock uh, what i want to do is talk about something that a lot of people have asked me about it's uh, my favorite video i think i've ever seen on, online. Uh, a lot of people ask me still, a know, simple man uh -huh. cock. that's it but... and cock dude that's all you need so this guy sent me four cocks what are the possible chance that we're even going to get through the first one let's see I did. Oh my god. This I don't know what that was, but I don't know what that was either. The first half was good. We're losing it with that one. Uh <laughs> it's I don't know if I don't know if this is funny anymore. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> that was uh that was a video oblong has two subscribers i will make myself the third I already have uh amazing that's um dsp cock appears to be his most popular video what's well, so, masterpiece so but it shows how Let's, uh, let's, I'm left in these you'll see this on the playlist. Cock. You'll play see this on the playlist tomorrow too. I'll add it there so you can enjoy it again. Uh, but it's it's funny how he was already getting negative videos in fucking 2011. That's that's for sure. But all right, there we go. DSP cock. Absolutely true. And so in the case, a perfect example: Silent Hill Downpour. 
Yeah. Lots of the Silent reviewers Hill. were saying this isn't as good as the older Silent Hill games, in particular Silent Hill 2 and 3. Well, when historically Silent Hill 2 and 3 are considered some of the best uh, survival horror games ever, okay, and games that kind of created and redefined the genre, the genre at a time when genre. games like Resident Evil were waning and these games came to take their place, you can't definitively hold every game up to that and say, Does it, is it as good? Is it as good? Because the bottom line is this. Silent Hill 2 hey, and 3 are older games. Today. I'm playing Silent Hill 2 right now. Oh, and I can tell you, it's a good game, but there's a lot of outdated stuff about it. Like the control scheme, it sucks. But all survival horror games had that kind of control scheme back then. And over the years, I don't really years, get what we're talking about right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm to the point where they're not that bad anymore. Okay? We can't compare but old games. Can we can't compare old games to new games. games. There's a certain time limit on it or something. It's a decade old, so obviously I can't hold it against it. Ah. But does that mean in this day and decade. age that survival horror games should have those the kind of controls? Absolutely not. So should you fold the game because it's easier, because it has better controls, because it's modernized? You know I what I mean? I don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> The one two connection isn't there. It doesn't make logical sense. <laughs> when you review a game, you should, number one, okay, give that's factual one. information about the game. How long right. is it? Uh, you know, do the controls actually work? What is the <laughs> factual? These act controls actually do not work. When you push buttons, nothing happens. That is uh, uh, it yes. drops all my moves, uh, all my inputs that were is eaten. It's factual, factual. System. Then you should give opinions about the game. I really like this part. I disliked this part. This part I felt Dead was City repetitive. Dasher is nice pull. <clears throat> then you should For give Theodore. perspective on what kind of a game it is and what kind of people would like that game. If you're like action based games, you won't like this. It's more of a puzzler. If you like the old school survival horror games, oh. this game's more modernized. So, Maybe it won't be your cup of tea. So you have to explain that for every every genre? Okay, so this is a shooter. So if you're if you're looking for a fighting game, you won't like it. Also, if you're looking for an RPG, you won't find that. You won't like it either. Yeah, you're looking for Racer, not going to find it not, here, but not. Just keep her, go through all the games in every one, okay? Then, though, when you find your game? number score, no. No. <laughs> you should rank it according to the other games that are out at the time. Because when you look at a numbered score, are you saying, you gee, do I want to buy Resident Evil 2 for the PlayStation 2 or Silent Hill Downpour for the... Xbox 360. No, people aren't making those kind of assumptions. Okay. What people are trying to do is figure out what game do I want to buy today? Do I want to <laughs> think buy about it. I forgot what he was or saying. Do I want to buy Ninja Gaiden 3? Yes. And when your ranking is based off of this fucking high horse bullshit yeah. and nostalgic feelings about a game from a decade ago that no one's going to fucking play anymore, yes. then it's bullshit. No one and plays it's old games, guys. Uh, and that's retro. why you see you go to Metacritic and you got fucking assholes that rate games a 2, a 5, and a 10. How yeah. can the same game be a 2, a 5, and a 10? I know that ratings or are, are, are reviews are Different partially opinions. a pay Do you? Do you know this, sir, that they are uh, objective decisions? Five to ten. I know that ratings or are, are, are reviews are partially opinion, but... How, they're partially opinion. Did you know that? Ratings are um, partially opinion. So, okay. Some aspect of them is not opinion, then. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like, I, I get what he's trying to say, uh, but... The, the, but but you don't do that. Don't go between the lines with him. You have to do what he, listen to what he's saying here. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I, know I, like, I, I try to get myself out of <laughs> his words all the time. I try and make it make sense in my own skull. <laughs> Our reviews are partially opinion, but a game cannot be at the same time a 2, a 5, and a 10. Yes, That's it can. That's a fucking asshole skewing the score oh. because they don't know how to fucking oh. do a review. Ah. So... When you review a game, can you have some nostalgia in there? Yes. And let's be honest. When I reviewed Final Fantasy XIII, too, yeah. I said, man, I really miss the old school days of when Square Enix oh, dude, was making too. you know, Final Fantasy for like the SNES and Final Fantasy VI when there was massive character development, a huge <laughs> yeah, I loved overarching it. That story a massive that had development. twists and turns and made perfect sense, and it wasn't convoluted like the, 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 the stories of these modern Final Fantasy games. At the same time, I didn't say... Final Fantasy 13 2 isn't as good as Final Fantasy 6. Uh, Final Fantasy 6. I rated a 3 out of 10. You know? Like, I Does understand he do that, that shit all the time, though? The market, yes. That's what people are looking for. I'm so in done with these review so, questions. That is my, my tier list for hate. Yeah. 
What's your my tier list for hated questions are wrestling and then t- review questions. We'll go ahead though. Sorry, <laughs> F- fighting game questions is, is <laughs> yes, your number God, one. Those go on forever sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> on the whole thing yes you can factor in nostalgia as long as it doesn't overly skew oh. how you review the game and i get the feeling this is happening far too much in modern reviews and why don't you okay. review games okay. these never mind yeah no no, no don't say that uh, i did find <laughs> i did find a video i've never seen before i'm still looking for the fucking youtube money breakdown I haven't found it yet but here's the one i haven't seen dsp i've never seen this logo for sure dsp gaming live commentary game playthroughs have you ever seen this logo? Looks like official. No. Look at this little crown. <laughs> Shout outs. This is from 2011. The in here. Um, what a crappy life. Remix style. The turtle crapped in here. The turtle crapped in here. What a crappy life. The turtle crapped in here. A little bit. The turtle crapped in here. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Whoa. The turtle crapped in here. 6,000 views. No, not the worst DSP song that exists. No, no, no. Okay. Pitch changing. I like that. <laughs> All right, I'll throw it in. All right. I don't hear the whole thing, though. Um, let's hear the comments. Uh, Air Raid Lord says, holy shit, somebody made a remix of Phil. Love it, man. Big ups to Air Raid Lord. Uh... Oh, this is amazing. Great. Phil liked this. So Phil apparently did like this. There oh, you go. cool. All right. He got uh, 10 comments. There's all the comments. Oh, yeah, right. dude. <laughs> Back to the song. <laughs> Two more forum questions and some quick Twitter questions, and we've got a whole little bit of time. Okay. What? Phil, what do you think about... We got a whole yeah. little bit of time. By we're saying, yeah. by we're saying they're going to fix Mass Effect 3's ending. And that's from Knight Rider 043. Yeah, he says a lot more, but I don't have time to basically read it. Okay. What he's talking about? Mass Effect 3. Super highly anticipated game. Everyone's like, wow, we can't wait to see how this trilogy ends. We hope they don't fuck it up. The game ends, has three different endings. They're almost completely identical, except for a different colored explosion. There's a slight (laughs) extra cutscene at the end of one of them, leading people to believe that's the true ending. This was a big deal back in the day, I remember. It's confusing. Uh Some people are very disappointed because it doesn't give any time after the ending of Mass Effect 3 to give character development to show, for example, in Final Fantasy VI, when it explains what happens to the characters after the game ends. It doesn't do that. Lots of people are disappointed with the ending. Massive fan at Backlash, shitting all over Bioware's forums, people making fucking videos about it all over YouTube, people pissing, whining, moaning, complaining, some with some validity, some of it's just a lot of fucking whining and bitching that has no place, but some of it is very valid. (laughs) If you invested five years into this trilogy of games, you want closure for these characters that you've grown to know and love. And a lot of people feel like they didn't get it. What do I feel about the fact that there's now rumor that Bioware will be releasing a DLC? Oh, I do not care. Number one, I disagree with it. I don't care. I really do. And the reason I disagree with it, it's obvious that the creators of the game did have an artistic vision for the ending of the game. Yes, they did. Absolutely. Whether or not it was a good artistic vision, it was still their artistic vision. And I understand that we now live in an interactive world, <laughs> in an interactive media. We live in an interact- <laughs> in interactive, interactive world. world. Hell yeah! And I understand that we you now can live pick in an stuff up on your desk. It's super in interactive. interactive <laughs> you know, the Twitter, the Twitter sphere, and oh. the YouTube verse, and everyone has an opinion and can voice their opinion. Yeah. But a work of art is just that—a work of art. If oh. someone put up the Mona Lisa and said, "Ugh, she's ugly," do you think that the artist should have went back and fucking put more stuff on her? You know what I mean? So it is what it is. <laughs> put more stuff on her. <laughs> the hat. writer has writer's remorse, meaning they wrote this ending and they're like, "Oh fuck, you know what?" Writer's now remorse. Now, after the fact, I kind of agree, and I think I should. Oh should've man, done I'm better. done with this episode. That's something different, but. They're Please finish this. <laughs> Just looking forward to when we get to the Ask the Kings where we're bitching about trolls the whole time. Yeah. That's when it's... Uh... So people will now go and pay for the DLC. Um, and another question that he actually asks here is... Uh, will <laughs> Don't I... care. Petchy says, I'm sure he'd love a game that had an epilogue that took his decisions into account. <laughs> 
<laughs> he would. You'd think so, but no. <laughs> From what I've seen, as long as it doesn't uh, give him a gay marriage at the yes. end, it's pretty. That's fine. Anything uh, that doesn't involve gayness, he would enjoy. But no girls either. So. <laughs> and the answer is this. I'd be dumb not to simply because I am a huge fan of Mass Effect 3. I love the series of games. Regardless of the ending sucked, I still feel I got more than my money's worth out of that series of games. Okay. And I'm grateful to the creators of those games for the universe they created and the story that they provided for me over the past several years. Okay. I'm going to get it no matter what because it's a no-brainer. Plus, I'm no going to make money off of it, obviously. I'm going to make a video. Ooh. I'm going to make money off of it. So oh, yeah. it's not like I'm wasting my that money. That sounds so sleazy Should when you say it like that. The... I want to make money off this, okay? So not like you assholes. DLC? Absolutely not. It's all about your own philosophy on, on it. In my opinion, what should they do? If they yes. are going to do a DLC ending, it's got to be free. And that's my final say on the Ooh. subject. If you do a DLC ending because you feel it's a redo because you fucked up, the DLC should be free. And shame on you if you try to make your customers pay for a better ending when they already paid $60 and they weren't happy with the original ending. Okay. Going along with this vein of questioning, the next but he's gonna buy the <laughs> DLC regardless of what it costs because he's gonna make money, dude. Shout outs to I found another remix. I haven't seen oh, hell yeah. one minute thirty seconds. I think the one thing that they did atrociously wrong, they opted for an all death metal soundtrack. And I don't know if you've ever heard death metal before, okay? Oh, I never have. What does it Basically, sound like? Basically, it's a lot of fucking noise. And a lot of people <laughs> like it, so I'm not going to say, you know, it's, it's wrong to like this kind of music. But for me, I like rock music. I like alternative rock. I even like metal. I like Metallica. I like some of these bands. Okay? I like metal, like Metallica and Creed. Okay. <laughs> Nickelback. Yeah, Steve when we need him. <laughs> I love all things. I even like metal. We're talking Metallica. We're talking Creed. We're talking uh, Alien Ant Farm. I love metal. Motorhead. I don't like that. Motorhead. Like Motorhead. Please, please uh, tell me one song by Motorhead, sir. <laughs> That's not the Ace of Spades. I like some of these bands. The Motorhead. Okay? <laughs> Motorhead. I don't like death metal because death metal sounds like this. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> This is high. <laughs> oh, this is good. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at the drummer drumming. Look at the drumming. He's so fast. This is awesome. This is kind of hype. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> That's the ending. Okay. Well, that was definitely hype. That's going in the playlist. Absolutely. You earned a spot, Troy Marvel. Uh, someone said four years ago, this is very chill. Big ups. To the person that said this is very chill. Uh, let me see. Anything else? Anyone else recognizable? Not really. No. Dang. All right. All right. We're not wasting too much time here. I'm waiting for like Air Raid Lord. Like Air Raid Lord always comments on everything DSP possible. So, but no, not in this case. Yeah, that guy had a problem. Uh, yes. True. All right. Somehow, seven minutes left. Let's burn through this, guys. Jeez. Come on. Next question is this. Uh, a twisted turn of events, Phil. Uh, the developers of Azura's Wrath have announced four, or Azura's Wrath, however you say it, have announced four more episodes of I'm never of sure how to pronounce it, I swear. <laughs> Jasper the Cat says, I prefer Chicky Chang Wang, Charlie Chan style music. Oh, well, to each their own. But you have to include factual numbers in your assessments, I hope, Jasper the Cat. Like, you and can't... I, it can only be part opinion. <laughs> yes, part opinion, please. Only facts. The box. For the true conclusion, meaning that the, the ending of the game that was very ambiguous wasn't the true ending of the game. Oh, well, God. How are we still play, talking about endings? Fuck no. Ooh. And this is the flip uh, side. Master oh, flip side, yes. We're flipping it, yeah. 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 We're flipping it boys. The original ending Flip of it up. A loved series of games. <laughs> Azura's Wrath fucking sucked. He looks so odd. Had any gameplay. It was like watching a fucking anime. It wasn't worth $60. Ooh. It's definitely a game that you should watch the playthrough and not even rent because there's so little gameplay, there's no reason to play the fucking game. So why would I pay wow. more money on top of the $60 that I... <laughs> 
refuses to play the fucking game. So why would I pay more money on top of the $60 that I already spent too much on for this game to see the real ending of the game? Fuck you, Ooh, Capcom, nice. for still trying to milk money out of your fucking customers. Fuck them. Fuck Capcom. Oh my god, okay. dude. Next question. Amazing. He could, what a showman. Just want to show you that he had difficulty ripping the paper. Watch how this difficult rip happened. Like he didn't either didn't know how to rip paper correctly or he took a bad handle on it because he definitely had to work through that. Watch this paper rip. Milk money out of your fucking customers. <laughs> you'll get there, brother. Keep, keep training. Okay. Soon you'll be able to rip paper. We're going to Twitter questions now. We have very little time. Former so pro bodybuilder or something, right? Uh huh. This is from Tossif, and he says, oh, pick up I have unfollowed you after two years only because you spam my inbox on YouTube. Yes. How come you don't yeah. upload 30-minute videos or longer? Great question. I agree with this question 100%. I've answered this many times before. I'll answer it again. Yes, please. It's not because of any kind of, oh, I just don't want to make 30-minute videos. Number one, obviously, I make more money. Duh, and I get more views. Duh, if I put three... At least he was all honest about it. <laughs> I was, yeah, holy shit, though, dude. Yeah. Come on. He was honest about it at this point, boys. He can't say it. He can't say he wasn't honest about that. <laughs> videos out instead That's of wild. One. That's a no-brainer. Uh, no-brainer. Number two, Obviously. YouTube has problems Number two holds up one. Videos. Very robust. Even this video now that I'm making is going to be about 30 minutes long. Yeah, what? We'll get probably stuck in YouTube processing for an excessive amount of time. Uh... It's always been like this. So if I were to upload 30-minute videos... Videos, chances are it would take a massive amount of time for them all to be visible. Some of them would be stuck in YouTube processing for excessive amounts of time. Uh, Some long videos just never even work on YouTube. I uh, uploaded a 30 minute video the other day. It was the last part, I believe, of either, I don't think it was Ninja Guy, and I think it was the last part of Blades of Time. It just stuck matter. for no reason on YouTube and never processed. So I had to completely re upload it. Longer videos don't agree with YouTube. So that's really the reason I do this. Explain to all of the other people that were doing it, though. Um, yeah, I know. So, how, yeah. How about the millions of other videos that were over 10 minutes long that did work? How about that, sir? How about that? This one because is... at this time, I was watching The Best Friends, and uh -huh. like they, all of their shit was 20 to 30 minutes, yes. and it was fine. They nev they uploaded all the time and never talked about having problems with it. He talked about the first the first part of the question gave you the answer. He, the second part was just window dressing. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> When, yeah, longer videos don't agree with YouTube. They have trouble. They have trouble communicating. Uh, one more remix I found that I haven't seen before. Let's give them the shot. Come on, Mid three minutes. We're not into this whole thing, but. What's up, everyone? We're gonna try out Mega Man Ten. I've heard this before. I was gonna say, isn't this just Mega Man? Proto Man, son. The hell is this music? I think this is played more recently, isn't it? Proto Man, like Proto Man, that's not bad. That's not bad. We'll give him credit for that. Not bad. I like the metal one better. Also known as Big Man. He says, uh, "What's the next big game you're looking forward to? And any chance you and Super John Rambo will play indie games again?" The indie game suggestion is a great one, especially since there's a lot Ooh. of uh, opportunity to do it when there's not a lot of co-op games out, and there's not really a lot, a lot out right now. We may be checking out indie games soon. All know, right, thank God. Thank you. So I was just about to say, Jesus. Really, right now, the biggest game this year that I'm looking forward to is a combination of Diablo three uh -huh. and Bioshock Infinite. Those are the All two right. games I'm looking oh, forward yeah. to the most. Those are going to save the uh, channel. This question is from Grog. That's right, didn't, the, Rob, didn't the timer go off? I was just about to ask, <laughs> didn't we do the timer? And also, who uh, we did some multiplayer gameplay of Operation uh, Raccoon City just uh, this past couple of weeks. He says, uh, what in a game can really scare you or come close? What kills the scary atmosphere the most? Okay, what could scare DSP in a game? Jay Wusso in the house says, this buffoon spanned his entire community away. Not even that. I mean, that's the first. I mean, this shows you a good in, in, insight into his outlook, though, right? He just told you straight up to his audience. Hey guys, I make more money. The dude said I quit following you because of the videos. I make more money, dumb fuck. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> his priority you? was the money, not making yeah. content that Come you on. actually wanted to see.
So what, what? And back to the question: What will Phil say is scary in video games? I, I think he's gonna be trying to be badass. Like, well, nothing much scares me, but jump scares can do it sometimes. But what do you think, Atlas? Oh, I think I thought he was gonna take like a more artsy style, like oh, when the the atmosphere is really right and tense, and you know, he was gonna mm. act like he has any sort of appreciation for actual scary stuff. Okay, let's see. Take a sip first. Chew it up. For me. In a game, the thing that scares me the most isn't a particular monster. Um, it's it's two things: a feeling of uncertainty. You, you don't know what's going to happen. Nah, you're you right. Don't you don't know win. if there's going to be health around hey. the corner and you're dying. Atlas gets you one. You don't know uh, how many enemies are going to be jumping out. <laughs> okay. And okay. also a feeling of helplessness. Uh, helplessness. I remember when mm. I was playing Dead Space helplessness. 1, one of the creepiest feelings was when I was fighting the monster that regenerates infinitely. You can't kill it. And no matter how much you shot, it kept coming out. You're just worried about the time feeling, you're wasting. I'm going to run out of ammo. I'm running out of life. This is <laughs> fucked. I don't know if I'm going to get away I got away other games to be playing, man. That come on. Shit is I'm scary. terrified. <laughs> what ruins this feeling is when... You don't have that feeling, meaning you know, okay, I'm disconnected from this game. I know that in this game, even if I die, who cares? It's not really scary, you know? There has to be some kind of risk involved. So in uh, Dead Space, if I died to that monster, I didn't know if the checkpoint was going to load 10 minutes ago or if it was going to load right away, it was going to be a, a good checkpoint. So, like, man, I don't want to have to replay 10 minutes of gameplay. That doesn't necessarily have to ass. be true. He's not right? dying. He's invincible. What do I do? That's the kind of shit uh, that's what scary do I do? me. Um, <laughs> John Rambo's kissing someone when else. <laughs> you play these more watered-down, action-based survival oh, come on. games where there's really no risk. You know you just saved, and there's a checkpoint that just saved ah, five so seconds. you're saying less checkpoints then, sir. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so less checkpoints is positive now. All right, cool. So if you die, oh, got it, got it doesn't it. matter. You get to start over. There's we really hate no redoing risk, parts, but yeah, yes. less checkpoints like, sounds like a good idea. He will bitch to no end when he has to redo parts. Remember that now? Like, this is not how to, how game development should be anymore, but all right. There's a chance you're going to lose anything, uh -huh. and it's not But when scared. reloading would be to uh, his advantage, obviously we're not going to do that. <laughs> Two more questions. This one's from Ghost23. He says, where is... Uh, big, ups, big ups to Theodore in the house. Says, we big, up, big ups, ALT and Atlas. Big ups, Theodore. And also oh. to Jasper the Cat. Good luck, Jasper the hey. Cat. My factual DSP review. Oh, we have a DSP review itself. Here we go. Factual, of course. Or... Part factual, I hope, Jasper. I wish Linda had swallowed. <laughs> Thank you, Jasper. <laughs> all all comments are said by Jasper. Not gar not, not definitely uh, co-signed by the hosts. Your playlist of favorite videos on DSP Gaming, it used to be there. Well, How are there two minutes left? The timer went YouTube off. YouTube adopted their new channel layout back in late It just goes to show you that the timer is arbitrary. No he can really do this for much for longer. They uh -huh. and I, I, they just do exist. I can still see them when I look at my videos page in my channel. Uh -huh. But I can't make it visible on my page. I don't know if it's a bug. A lot of people have said they can. I can't. There's no more favorites, and it sucks because I used to favorite fan-made videos and stuff so people could see them. There's no way Dang. for me to do this anymore, okay. and I apologize Dang to it. everyone. It's a YouTube bug from late 2011. Like favorite all those epic it. podcasts the last from guys. Guys. <laughs> from Tate Time, and he said, Tate Time. Phil, for Ask the King and other videos, why don't you post affiliate links on your hateful truth reviews or other things? Yeah, why so not? So that you're leaving money on the table. Uh, the it, oh, we're going to get bottom line. But I think he's going to say... Is he going to try to say he's not a shill? Is that where we're going to go with this? That that seems very dented if he does. But can we really say yeah, that here? Yeah, especially when he was just talking about how much how money was his priority earlier. Is I think it's a little too early to be saying we're not a shill, though, isn't yeah, it? 2012? I think, yeah, I think he he's very open to shilling at this point. Let's see what he says. Because we're going to do the loot the loot crate eventually. Like that's still oh, on the yeah. table, so yeah. we can't yeah. say we're not a shill yet. Truth reviews or other things seems like you're leaving money on the table. The bottom line is this: when I'm making these videos, the last thing I'm thinking about is making money, advertising, and such. Uh -huh. I'm just a guy here making uh -oh. videos on YouTube to have fun. As so you you're stupid then, because literally you're just adding a link to your YouTube channel, sir. It's the most, you know, uh, passive way to earn money on YouTube possible. You're already talking about it in your video, you know. So you're just an idiot then. That's that's what we're learning here. He's not worried about the money, but earlier <laughs> when we were talking about why we don't upload a certain way, it's yeah. because I make more money, stupid. Yeah. So we well, kind of just those two things not at the same time. It's the most 
non-obtrusive way, non-intrusive way to get money from YouTube is just saying like, hey, I have a, there's a link below. You don't even have to say it. Just have it there. Advertising Amazing. and such. I'm just a guy here making videos on uh -huh. YouTube to have fun, as you just know. Just a guy. And as a cool added benefit, I'm making good money. I'm so, having fun doing it, and this is my living. Why not maximize that in the easiest way possible that doesn't hurt anyone? No one will complain about a link on your channel. No one on earth. Now, the cool thing is, being what? that I'm a machine, I'm a partner, there may be some opportunities coming up where I may be able to actually say, who, who I also want to be to say, Welcome to this month's edition of Axe the King, brought to you by Pepsi. No, no, that's not what they said, sir. That's not what they said. But again, let's do, let's do, you know, uh, what's the extremism side fail here. That's all we're doing. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> well, I also want to be to say, welcome to this month's edition of Axe the King, brought yeah, to you by get Pepsi. Get a, a Pepsi sponsorship. And that would even be fine, by the way, if you didn't beg. <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, the yeah, fuck? sure, that's kind of okay. Phil's selling out. I live in the Not reality really, where DSP just has a Pepsi bottle in the background all the time uh -huh. as part of a contract, and he's getting buku bucks off of, <laughs> of it. Just, yeah. yeah. So I have a sponsor now. Well, how cool would that be to have corporate backing? I mean, that would be awesome. Oh. Maybe stuff like that is in the works. That would be awesome to have corporate backing now. Oh, right hell yeah. now, I'm not too concerned about putting 100 links and trying to make $5,000 off of link clicks. No, 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 no. Again, we're not, we're not asking for that much, sir. Just add a link below in the description of the item you're talking about. It's one link, actually, not tons of links. Not what I'm about, but it looks like there may be some cool promotional stuff happening in the future, uh, and I'll let everyone know about that. Adding oh, a link is so. not what I'm about. Click the ads. Uh -huh. That's it for the March 2012 edition of Ask the King. Thank Thanks God. for watching. Oh. As always, thank you for all the great questions. You can submit more on thekingofhate.com in the forum section of Ask the King, or again, follow me on Twitter at they call me DSP. You have a chance to put up questions the day of the filming. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. All right. <laughs> oh, double thumbs up. Big ups. All right, are we live yet? We should be. So sadly, we can't watch that uh, top 10 reasons why DSP was awesome. Oh, no, he's not live yet. We have music, but we're not live, so we can watch a little bit more of this jam. Into your time oh, yes. when Phil was doing this as a part time <laughs> oh, God, God, this I handled audio. the channel back then. You know, it really I is forgot. interesting to look back at how a YouTuber has transformed over the years, especially if you have a YouTube presence as documented as Phil has. <laughs> In this video, I'll be looking specifically at the year 2010. Oh, Why cool. 2010, you ask? Yeah. Well, it's Von because many shirt. of Phil's old time fans, oh, such yeah. as myself, believe this to be the year of DSP Ooh, cool. for many reasons. What are these reasons, you ask? Well, yeah, what are they? that's what I'm going to look into. Because yes. these are the top 10 reasons why 2010 was the DSP's earpiece. golden year. <laughs> Look at this. The bow to the king shirt on. <laughs> Look at the spacing on this. Is this a troll? Look at this text. <laughs> top 10 reasons why 2010, huge space here, was DSP's golden year, in my opinion. Now don't take this out of context and think that this is bashing current day Phil. In Ooh. fact, quite the contrary. This goes out more as an informative video to new fans of DSP. Oh. You may be curious about why 2010 in particular is hailed as DSP's best year. Ah. It also goes out to a love letter to the people that have been following Phil for as long as five years now. Oh, so it's a love letter to you guys. <laughs> to, to you guys that have been following Phil for five years now. Hell yeah. It's 2013. Crazy to think he yeah. had fans doing this though, given what he's got now. But it sounds like it's a it's a sneak not a sneak dis even because he's saying like it's not making fun of current Phil. Oh my god, look at this pause. It's not it's not poking fun <laughs> of current Phil, but we're remembering the past of how it was awesome, more awesome, I guess. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get stuck in. Jeez, I swear to God, you freaking Oh, classic. You Jews, you Mexicans, you Asians, yeah. you're so demanding, you just, you drive me nuts. Disclaimer. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Number 10. Oh my god, you see that? He left that in. I'm sure it's intentional, too. He left in the top 10 racist remarks. The racist remarks screenshot here. I'm going to try to catch it for you. I promise it's worth it. It's a flash. Okay, come on, come on, come on. There it is, see? Oh, oh no! Oh, it's a fade out from this. Okay, okay, never mind. But he still could have cut it out, but he kept it in. That's the top ten racist remarks ever background. If you ever seen that, it's an it's an urban style gentleman eating fried chicken. In case you wanted more info, there. That's why that's in the top ten racist remarks. Of course, number ten, <laughs> Cafe Press merchandise. 
In 2009, oh. Phil's presence on YouTube was just yeah, being was so discovered. Cool. This it was by many was fans best. like myself. This background music fucking sucks, dude. Just cut Phil it. First noticed his content, but it was 2010 when we realized, hey, I like this guy. I want to wear a shirt with his face on it, but I can settle with a middle finger. And so, due to popular demand, Phil opened up a cafe press page, complete with shirts, steins, notebooks, clocks, aprons, and thongs. That's like the highest quality we can see that merch, actually, by the way, is this video. Because <laughs> we can't get the real... So that's what it looked like. Hell yeah. Dark side film. Yeah, dude. Dong. <laughs> Big I, ups. When you link with a girl, if she's not wearing these, it's not for you, bud. <laughs> All of his designs. Thongs? What the... Fuck? It was the first time Phil had branched out and made profit from his hobby, with the Cafe Press page starting up in early 2010. Ah. And when a product had merchandise to support... Oh, big ups! I, I, I didn't... In my head, I didn't know that. But yeah, he was making money off Cafe, Pr Cafe Press before he was making money on AdSense. So that's big ups. Interesting news. Uh, sadly, this will have to wait as he is live. Sorry, guys. Oh. <laughs> uh, let's not lose our skip juice. Though. I'll make sure not to use that. Hello? All right, good evening, everybody. No. I am go. here. All right. Welcome to the stream. It is time for some chill oh, RPG my mama. action. We can make them. WPIG thong, hell yeah. Although not the <laughs> RPG yeah. action that you've been watching me play for the last three months, thankfully. It's something new. <laughs> this is uh -oh. That's right, Dragon's Dogma 2 finally present. returning That's to what's the up, streams. <laughs> uh, I only got to play it on release day last week. Which is disappointing because I liked it. I played it five and a half what are we, hours. What are we even playing today? Uh, on release day last um, week. We were I have playing, no clue. Uh, really Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, yeah, Dragon's uh, Dogma in the dark to today during the because day stream. I was in the midst of other RPGs I needed to finish. I we actually watched done. some of that game. So now tonight, here okay. we are. Right. RPG Overload is over, and Dragon's Dogma 2 and I'm playing is currently Dragon's the only Dogma RPG 2, I'll be playing. So I, I, um, I actually know about this game. That will change over the course of April because I am going to start playing Elden Ring again. Um, to oh, finish yeah. my, well, not finish, but set my second run in Elden Ring, the magic run, up so that I can play the DLC when it comes out in June. Um, but I, I mean, let's be honest here. What? Essentially, uh, these games I'm playing now are so far removed and different from the RPGs I was just playing. You know, when you look at Baldur's Gate 3 this or like so a Dragon, cope. they're turn based, they're slow paced, there's no real. Active, active. You just try. I mean, not so when I say cope. different, you yeah, guys. That's what, I didn't mean. It's not cope is the wrong word, but it's like rationalization of why you should keep watching. Like, trust me, guys, this is way different. You're gonna love this. You saw RPGs last week. Oh my god, those fucking suck, dude. These are all new. It's gonna be insane, right? These games are all about that. Dragon's Dogma Two. You're open world roaming. There's enemies everywhere. There's giant, you know, mini boss open fights all, all over the place. Uh, nope. That's the big point of the game, you know. Uh, not slow paced strategy where, you know, if you're looking for action, you fall asleep. It's definitely different. <laughs> and of course, we all know from Jeez. soft games are their own entity it's definitely in themselves. Different. Uh, yeah, Elden Ring's not an so RPG. I don't feel either. like there's going to be too much of an We've been issue defending this all day long. To playing day. this uh -huh. right now, uh, right after the other RPGs, or, you know, starting up with Elden Ring again in April, I think we'll be okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> now you might say, well, yeah. Phil, what do I say? you also just started playing Alone in the Dark yeah, yeah. earlier today. Uh -huh. And how did the stream go? And what are your plans? Well, the stream went really well. Uh, to, in a nutshell, like attendance was great. A higher attendance than we've had for any of these RPGs over the last couple of months. Uh, support was good. And people liked yeah. the game. Just good? What does that mean? Was it 100? Uh, he made uh, he made over 100. Oh, okay. I think at one point he was talking about putting on a tie instead of the vest, I think. Uh, okay. That was on the table. So I missed it, the ending. It was just it but just good for over 100, okay. So, FYI, I'm not sure uh if I should keep Alone in the Dark as a day stream like I did today and keep Dragon's Dogma at night uh or not. Likely I'll, I'll end up flipping it regardless because there are going to be some days when I'm not going to be doing both of these games together. For example, I want to try the Star Wars Battlefront collection again, oh, either definitely. you know, Gotta like that, maybe. Uh, I was hoping like that was Wednesday tonight. Night. <laughs> I want to give it a shot again because I heard they did I patch it, it and fix really it and funny. made it better. I watched the and first I bought one the game all the way and I only through. got to play it once and it didn't work. So obviously, I want I want to do that. And it's so as most, I get other games the, into the, the mix, there may be days the where I only watching. either play okay. Alone in the Dark or Dragon's Dogma Two, in which case those will probably be the daytime stream. All right, gotta make it out. But you know, on a day when we're playing both, I mean, Alone in the Dark did really good. 
earlier. So okay, I think really probably good now. for Monday, we may just keep the schedule the same way. Although, let's see how this does tonight. Let's see if, if people show up and engage in support and <laughs> have a desire to see this is the daytime stream, then maybe we would do that. I, I hope don't it's, know. I hope it's slow Let's see shit. how it goes. I, I really don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about <laughs> it. So then he has to explain this one away. I hope he gets nervous about playing this game. Like, that's the dream, is that he another RPG that is slow. Yeah. That's what you want for maximum paranoia. Hello? <laughs> Oh, let's see. Here. My big Rose hope is that the Elden Ring yeah, DLC rolling. absolutely tanks. Rose yeah, really that's well. my biggest hope because he's relying on it so dark much. Game. <laughs> dark Gaming says early on it feels like leaving town is a death sentence. You know, I didn't really. Uh, no, Dark Gaming. I didn't really have that up. problem, right? At least in the first five and a half hours. Maybe I'm just not far enough into the game yet. But as long as you explore and you don't run smack dab into giant monsters constantly, uh, you know, I was doing pretty good. But that was it was the starter areas. Am I a New York Yankee? No. And this is not a Yankees pinstripe. I will all. find lines. No, I know I'm, ba I'm behind on the uploading onto Spotify. I think I'm like four episodes back. I will tonight or t tomorrow find lines. I promise tomorrow. Design. <laughs> oh, man. Change to Archer when you're able to switch vocations. It's so much fun. You know, when my first playthrough, I did. Uh, oh, all right. All right. Uh, LARPers, if you're there. Michelle247 is a confirmed Phil fan, has talked about ad. So maybe you're seeing an ad too. I, I don't know, but you might be seeing an ad and you might want to let the streamer know about uh, it like in Minecraft. Sl Rogue, I think, is startups. And I think later on you can like a <laughs> If you get my drift. And it was so overpowered. Are, when you get the dual, the dual really knives. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing an ad too, like I think. you're like like crazy and stuff, it gets crazy against the big monsters. Now keep in mind, <clears> when I have a big ads. <laughs> I can't, I've seen so many fucking ads. I was upgrading, I bought a bunch of upgrades. <laughs> I bought like the multi stab ability and stuff. So maybe I'll be better now as the as the uh, the fighter. I guess we'll see. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I basically haven't played that much, so I really don't know yet what I, what I'm gonna do. Yeah, we played one time. No, we played twice. What are the two rules sessions be regarding for one advice? Day. It's very simple. I'm gonna play the game. Yeah. And I'm gonna enjoy it. If I get lost or if I get confused and I don't know what the hell's going on, and I ask you for advice, then please give it to me. Okay, got but it. But don't just spam the chat. Like for example. I literally had walked into the yeah, first room. Don't do room that. Yeah, dark, that's so definitely what you don't want and to do. Like, but if you want to, you it's just, like, fine too. That? It's up to you. you. Shut up. You have my lips zipped. When I'm playing a video game, I don't want you to tell me the entire <laughs> oh, yeah, game. Oh, yeah, he was pissed about spoilers like, today. I forgot all about that rant. <laughs> oh, you definitely don't want to share spoilers, guys. You had to solve a puzzle the second oh, I saw it. That's rude. That's rude. Don't do that. But before you could even solve it yet, like, what the hell? Ooh. Yeah, he was so, he was complaining because yeah, people were please. holding his hand in Baldur's Gate and stuff. He's like, everybody ruined everything for me. It was <laughs> it was actually really not cool. Like, this is what you want. You're He's, asking for no, this. Oh, oh, do this immediately. Oh, this is how you do this. This is how you do oh. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Okay. Let's uh relax. So don't talk a that. Bit, and let's play. And if I get stuck or I'm looking for advice on something better, yeah. and you, or I don't understand a mechanic, then I would like that advice and I'll ask for it. Okay, but please don't spam the chat with a million pieces of information about stuff I'm not even doing. Oh, Derek, <laughs> get, get the hit, Derek. <laughs> okay. Have, have we had a sighting yet? <laughs> not yet. I have not seen him. I'm, I'm watching the waters. I got my binoculars on in the waters. Yeah, that's, is that the truth? In the first one, the vocation of on Archer and Kiefer combined? Is that what it was? <laughs> I, I definitely remember having the dual daggers Mishael's and keeping stabbing it up. the crap out of the weak He's spots. keeping it up for us. That's me, Shiel. <laughs> That's a confirmed Phil fan, so, you know. To the big monsters. I totally remember that. But now that you now that you mention it, I think I did have a bow in the first one, too. So maybe that was the, the vocation I used. It was the, the co-archer. Oh, definitely. Yep, no one cares. Stabby, stabby yep. vocation. It and was. Now I watched it. Yeah. Strider used to be uh, bow and dagger. Stabby, stabby. It's separated now. <laughs> and by the way, guys, please, tonight, if you oh, enjoy the stream, if yeah. you're having a good time. What do we time, do? Please huh? support the stream in some way. Oh, you know, obviously that's going to oh, I didn't even think about doing that, but now that you said uh, it. Why is it he so beggy? He's so like desperate sounding. Like he'd sound like he made zero dollars today, doesn't it? It's very beggy here. Look at way, this. You know, stream if you're happy. Guys, whew, I mean, guys, uh, guys, really, if you really want to help. And by the way, guys, please tonight, if you enjoy the stream, if you're having a good time, please support the stream in some way. You know, obviously oh, that's going to convince me to play more of the game. You would think he had a uh, slow stream today. And keep yeah. it in rotation more often, as opposed to, uh, you know, if it ends up being another RPG yeah. that gets what very What level would, did you did you did you mark this one down as, Philip? <laughs> uh, I put this is a Cody a Cody Yellow. <laughs> Cody like, Yellow. This is right. Port, uh, <laughs> Uh, then I'll probably it'll become like like a dragon again, you know. Yes, where it's a please game do that. that. I play a few times a week at night, and that's it. That's what we want. I you love should that. just do a I'm new game plus wrong. run of like a dragon. You see, 
you know, where it's a game that I play a few times a week at night and that's it. Yeah, I want that that's actually. Okay. That's what I'm I want. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. It's always okay to have kind of a late night chill stream game in the rotation that doesn't get a lot of support. But if you right. want to see more so of it. So uh, not to tease you guys too much, but the chat is now just talking about ads. So I, I think Philip might have mentioned it. Let's see. Please engage oh, in support please. with the stream. We are four like, minutes behind. I couldn't so. believe it. This morning, there's someone arguing with me in chat. Uh oh that they're upset that I'm not playing Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. And I yeah, said, yeah. the last several streams of Rebirth that I played, the stream attendance was atrocious. People went and talked about whatever they wanted. had nothing to do okay, with the game. Okay, so how about uh, Like a Dragon then, sir? Because that's the same fucking thing to the last two streams. And no one supported the stream because I got all my income during the, the podcast. <laughs> like, my literally income. zero people contributed to the stream <laughs> when the game started. So why? I was like, where were you during the stream? So how, about, the how about Like a Dragon then, sir? Nothing whatsoever to say. Uh -huh. Like, you didn't show up. You didn't watch. You didn't support. Now you're mad. I'm not playing the game. Okay. Uh, what do you think's gonna happen? Okay. How about <laughs> right? like a dragon? Like, then, come sir? on. What's the difference? No, like a dragon's different, mm. dude. He likes that game. Less Tifa, I guess. That's the best part. No yeah, Tifa. Yeah, rebirth is off the table for now. Exactly. I'm not playing part. rebirth now. Rebirth, I might. Tifa in a bikini. Come back, yep. Uh, yeah. You know, in a few months. I think I still have it for you guys that want it. Though, I'm, I'm not I? interested. Oh, no, I think I deleted my Tifa. Right I'm just not. I, I'd rather do right new now. stuff at this point. <laughs> I'm thinking longingly. Oh, you guys want so Tifa? Right now, I got a Tifa Dogma for you. Two Hang on. Is our RPG that we're playing? Like I said, I, the exception would be Elden Ring. I made a special Elden Ring is Tifa, Tifa just for It gets its own attention. You know what I'm saying? So. Atlas, you uh, that one. will, you know, I don't mind That's playing for you. Elden Ring along oh. with Saint Dragon's Dogma. Catherine style. I think be a problem, but there's no way I'm playing. <laughs> this is a more than that for you. Time, what are you so talking playing. about? <laughs> and, Get fucked. and Elden Ring and Persona and this, I'm, I'm not Get stupid. Get fucked, everybody. <laughs> FP7 yeah, says, I should the do that. Fantasy games have an interesting pacing, similar to Yakuza. <laughs> one moment you're exploring, the next moment you're watching cutscenes for two hours. No, right. I mean, that's the pacing of Seven Rebirth. Is it's a bunch of story, then all of a sudden you hit the open world, and the open world could be upwards of six, Tifa eight hours, and then, then it's story again, then it's open world again. You know, <laughs> God, <clears throat> God, that's toxic. If I remember, we had arrived at the major city, we had met with our contact, he handed us a whole bunch of quests. We were trying to. We didn't have time to do any of them, so I was trying to do the one we that never was in have the city. Time for anything, dude. And I we don't even have it. time in games. <laughs> do it, and I just got frustrated. Busy so in the busy game. In the game. Stones, right? And then I was like, "All right, we're done with the that's, stream." That's busy. So maybe we can figure that out tonight, or maybe we'll just go do the other ones because I know there's a bunch of the other quests he gave me to kill monsters and stuff. And we should <laughs> get into the game. No, 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 no. Oh, let's check. These don't count yet, by the way. These don't count. <laughs> nope, nothing there yeah. yet. Oh, sway, sway, quick sway. I like how you guys are complaining about ads. You yes. realize that the ads yeah. at maximum. Got there, boys. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear this rant. I like how you guys are complaining about ads. You realize that the ads at maximum can play once every like 30 minutes, right? That's the most that it could that's play not unless true. YouTube has reprogrammed no, their site. That's not true. I have ads on balanced. So that means that it should be playing every 30 minutes once. So this should literally be the first ad you should see on the stream because the stream's now been running for 30 minutes. So I don't know why you're complaining. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. He's got it on balanced. At most, YouTube can only do every 30 minutes, so it should be at 30 minutes. That would, would Then what is aggressive? Aggre yeah, what's aggressive? Holy shit, I want to know what aggressive is. Uh, I think that's the one that's every, like, 10 or 15 minutes, which is usually what he has it on. All right, so I'm trying to see the rating here. Uh, can't find it. Eh, can't see it. 30 minutes. I want to see so if he's lying about that complain. part. But... What the fuck are you talking about? <clears throat> yeah, what's balance here? YouTube. Hello? Hello? Sir? No, he's, he's oh, I know dead you can't be talking during an ad. That's why I recommend <laughs> you get YouTube Premium. <laughs> oh, we got to share Give YouTube Premium. premium. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, good job guys. Mission accomplished. I'll yeah, say successful that. Big Way ups, to go. everybody. Oh, I know you can't hear me talk during an ad. That's why I recommend you get YouTube Premium. <laughs> These YouTube Premium shows are getting more and more common, I swear. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> <laughs> when you get your third ad in two minutes, there you get that face. <laughs> Jay Wu says, can you tell the LARPers to incorporate the word flathead into a question? Oh, okay. So you asking for some like screw like some uh screwdriver style questions? Need a flathead or catfish. Flathead catfish, I believe there are. What how else can we say flathead? 
screwdriver, catfish. Let's say screwdriver is the first thing that came to my mind. Flathead is an old engine type. Okay, that's he's not a car style person though, right? Um, wouldn't imagine so. Flathead national. Uh, nah, I think we're stuck to catfish or or flat, flathead catfish or flathead screwdriver. So good luck on that one. A no brainer. If you're gonna watch a lot of streams on YouTube, get or you the other option is always you know that's a good LARPer name though, right? I recommend you get YouTube Premium. A no brainer. No brainer. If you're gonna dude. watch a lot of streams on YouTube, get YouTube Premium. It's like uh, I don't know why you wouldn't. I don't want to. Get no. that block. This is, that's like get sitting in your block. car listening to ter ter terrestrial old school radio. Yeah, I love terrestrial. And old you're frustrated radio. that there's too many ads. Nope, don't listen like, to that. No one has listened to terrestrial radio in probably what 15 years. When's the last time you listened to terrestrial radio? Atlas probably never has in his entire life. Probably. No, so what's the real no, no. <laughs> Come on now. We were broke as shit. I listened to a lot of terrestrial radio, okay. and then um, at, in the work trucks. Now I get in them, and sometimes the radio's on. I'm like, huh. This is what they'd be listening to all day. Uh, yeah, sometimes you're like, oh, this is what it's like. You know, you get stuck in that situation, like in Uber or something. I was like, oh, this is what that's like. Yeah. Like old school radio, it sucks. There's a million ads. That's why everyone got satellite radio yes, or definitely. you sync your Spotify or whatever your listening device is with your car. So you don't have to listen to ads. Yeah. Like, everyone does it. So why wouldn't you do the same thing with YouTube? I just, that blows my mind. <clears throat> Yes, it's called terrestrial radio. Classic radio is called terrestrial radio. Yes. <laughs> yes, the radio of Terra. <laughs> you got premium today, Cypress? I mean, it's a good move. I'm telling you. It's a good you. move, and again, dude. I swear to you, I don't get any you kickback. Google your money. You they love premium. it. I'm not getting paid by YouTube for that. I'm just telling but you. But, Master, like... to be honest, the Jonathan Frakes question has kind of died because we got to, the, like, hard mode only. But, like, this is what we're left with. And, like, they're all tough. What did you want to be when you grow up? Have you ever heard, walked out of a mall into a huge parking area and realized you forgot where you parked your car? Like, that's not happening, you know? What's the right tip? How superstitious are you? I think we got what's how superstitious are you, but he, like, wouldn't even talk about it that much. Uh, do you display this as a trophy? And we tried that. We tried a lot of these, and they haven't really got any hits for a while. So we're taking it easy on the Jonathan Frakes question. I think we should go to set two. Yeah, go ahead. I was say he did find out like we, yes. that the questions were being asked and yes. then we kind of yeah laid so we, back on we it. We gotta cause... take it easy. We gotta take it easy. You know, because now he kind of knows the game, so it was fun for a while it lasted. But the best thing if you're an avid YouTube watcher or user, you need premium. Okay, thank you. Take a sip. Shill shit. Shill Hello, sh gameplay. The shill sip. <laughs> I received my first contribution oh. of the night. It is a dollar tip. Hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. From better called Darth Maul DSP super fan. We're the same age, interested in the same things. Both diehard gamers and both are pet dads. Why have you blacklisted me? Oh. I haven't blacklisted you. You got. Oh. This is Ke Ke uh, Canadian Kirk. Uh oh. Oh, both is it? Oh my and both are pet dads. Why have you blacklisted me? I haven't blacklisted you. You got yourself banned into oblivion a zillion times. There's no point in unbanning your account. It's just going to get banned again. Ooh. As I said, if you have any kind of intelligence, what you would do is make a new account and come into the chat and not talk the way you've talked previously so everyone knows it's you. Literally, the moment you start saying ridiculous <laughs> stuff that's not allowed, everyone knows <laughs> Become a new person. Because it's you. <laughs> so just don't do that. And then... uh. Become a new person. Then Bro, guess what? No just one ban would evade, you. dude. Come yes. on. The problem is you keep making your presence known, and therefore I'm not going to unban you and have the. <laughs> hey, Phil. Oh. I'll be back to tomorrow for DSP vs. Internet and the start of Bully on DSP so bad. Yeah, hell yeah. So he's not going to be there tonight, oh, we just yeah. learned. Hell yeah. Oh, awesome, dude. But Thanks, Eric. Good night. The problem is you keep making your presence known, and therefore I'm not going to unban you and have the whole stream be drama because of you. I refuse. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thanks for the dollar, though. You don't you need to tip Jane more. Jane says dude. you will not see me WrestleMania week. WrestleMania is my Super Bowl. I never miss WrestleMania. When is WrestleMania? <laughs> Next week? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Jade. Jade. <laughs> that sounds like a very Jade-style comment, doesn't it? That's his Super I'm glad Bowl. I'm like something that's not... DSP though, good for him. Glad Jade likes all enjoys something though. At least he has hobbies. That's more than DSP has. And he goes to so the casino tomorrow. sometimes too. Should, That's yeah. more than the guy. Jade is living life more than DSP. That is fact. Easter Sunday. Oh, that would have been dumb if they tried to do it on Easter Sunday. I guess huh? that would have been dumb. So definitely. It's next weekend. All right. Well, I guess it's my birthday weekend. Uh, what will I be doing those days? Well, the, on Saturday, I'll be doing my birthday marathon. Right. 
that he, that timing of that, if you rewind the stream, was so amazing. Because Philip said, "What well, will I be doing that weekend?" And then the Hulk Hogan transition slide <laughs> came right down. <laughs> like rewatch that; it's gonna be funny. <laughs> Here all day long on, on April 6th, my birthday, yeah. to have fun with you guys. And then that Sunday, the 7th, will just be a, 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 re a react day for me. Oh, that'll be a great birthday. <clears throat> react day. Okay. Okay. Are we done yet? Not done yet. No need to start the game nice. yet. Dead air. Dead air. No need to start the game. Come on. Okay. Oh, uh, I guess we'll, we'll get her booted up here and get started. Yep. All right. Toilet seat on. Let's see how it goes tonight. Let's see if I still like the game after a week. If I remember how to play it. Let's see if you Let's guys see if, uh, uh, people like the game. Let's yep. see if anyone engages, supports, or uh, chills and has My fun. My God, engages. Or if I sit here and we're all bored and then we'll do something else. I don't know, but I think the game. I mean, I liked it when I played. Someone oh my God! Did you imagine what? Did you imagine yeah, if it does bad and he quits the game? So she's probably like, because <laughs> he's like, we'll do something else. Something Could like you that? imagine she paid full price for Dragon's Dogma two and Wade quits at day one or day two rather? Please. Uh, I don't know what my pawn ID is. I have no clue. You have to check my videos. Okay. Maybe it says it on there. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, we people are, definitely we'll, would have downloaded we'll the save, pawn right? from that cat. <laughs> I don't even guys. remember what we did last. All right. I, we are now officially into the game. Any tips means we are done. I guess I'll say last save. Only uh, tip style, not super chat. I don't remember. Starting now. <laughs> on the clock. Yeah, this is what we were trying to do. Gisa's plot. This is what we Big were trying Juro. to figure out. So this, 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 the stream has been on the whole time, huh? Hits. Moi to you. Big up, Juro. No, big ups. Oh, that's right. We were, uh, this is like the house where they heal people. The house of healing. We just happened to save here, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Kirk's probably going to get us out of here, I bet. You're right. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Oh. YouTube mode on. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. It's been a hello, week. Hello everyone. Yeah, I haven't been able to play this game all week because I was finishing up two other ongoing playthroughs, but now they are done, thankfully, and I'm ready to resume. Now, what I heard, okay. they're supposed to... Poll started. What will we hear first? Huh or what? Atlas, I need your guess. What will we hear first? If we hear any of those. We might not hear either. What will we hear first? The huh or what? Which one will we hear first? Get your I'm team, huh? All right, let's go. Patch this game very soon. I guess they've already issued the patch uh, on other versions, but the Xbox version always drags its feet a little bit. Uh -huh. Like, for example, one of the things I wanted to do, I wanted to turn off motion blur. Right, but they haven't done that yet. I, I always hate motion blur in video games. It bothers me. Uh, I feel if like you it makes care the that game much, dude, you need to invest shitty. in playing on PC. It does. Like, it just feels <laughs> fake and, and not very good. And uh, they didn't do it yet. Oh, they're gonna, uh, supposedly, God, they're supposed to be patching this game very soon and adding in the motion blur, which I will absolutely turn it off when they do because Patch it annoys the out, shit out of me. Like you said, um, the other versions. Uh, but outside Friday. of that, the game's not updated yet, so there's nothing to do. No, really he pretends there's people that like are still in 2009 that go to, like, let me open up my YouTube channel and check out what DSP is doing. Let me watch this gameplay video and doesn't know anything else that's happening. I guess they might watch exist. this guy in a while. What yeah. are he's up to? I guess they do exist, but like there has to be at most like what fifteen people like that. <laughs> Update here. Um, yeah, fifteen people well, over the course we of a year. If you remember, yeah, we were trying to do that, some you know, like. And one of the quests that we were trying to do was to sneak into the palace at night oh, or whatever. Okay, please sneak. And I couldn't figure it out. Sneak and missions. And come to find out, people commented on the video. They're like, "All you need to do is go to the gates." I thought you don't want like, spoilers. All you do is go in, and basically right, cool. you'll tell your pawns don't come with me. Oh, and just then you learn how to play the game. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. Through chat. So, Got it. Yeah. Very fun. Very chill. Well, it was a mechanic he didn't understand, dude. Out. That's why it was like, okay this time. <laughs> I've just recalled a little tidbit I heard from the locals. A tidbit you heard from the locals, huh? Yeah. Uh -huh. So where is the gate? Because the mission's in here, right? Like, we have to get to the... Is this it right here? <laughs> I think this is the main gate, like, right there. I think that's the entrance. So we're actually going the wrong way. To changes in the military's makeup. I've heard the same. Great. Indeed. Tell us there's been a shift in the chain of command. No, it has to be the official hog. Huh, Jay Wusso. The whole that level. It can't just be like a normal up. little hog. Yeah, we go for the same for what? Yeah, you know, you know, the one thing we, they've got you to know fix when you is hear the frame it. rate, right? You have to think that they're going to patch it and improve it. 
the fact that they release it like this is just like yeah just patch it so, it is right so now. simple oh, dude. this yep. is the series x by the way just for the record this is the xbox series x this is not oh like the series s or a, a, a shitty pc oh uh, wow. you got your wife the series s i hope that wasn't shitty this is not like the series she's s been playing or, the game uh, too hasn't she i swear he said that this week <laughs> yeah you see this is the series x you would think that it should be running well you know what you can just pick it up on pc brother hmm. was that on this is not like the series s or a, a, a shitty pc that was, this uh, is the series uh, uh, x that doesn't count you would think that it should be running well hmm. is greetings this? you seek guidance do you not you have lost sight of your path, but I that can point the way. No, I thought she was a vendor. You need only make a worthy offering in exchange. I totally thought she was a vendor. It is lovely to see you. No, it's not. Oh, I said, oh, okay, okay. gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> Oracles. <laughs> so, I don't count them. either. <laughs> Oracles uh, are used for allies in a chaotic world. Their guiding light or guiding sight will show, allow them to impart words of wisdom to the arisen, illuminating the path that they ought to follow or revealing a course of action they should take. If a quest has you in an impasse, or if you have lost your way on an adventure, pay a visit to an oracle. Uh, oh, this game is awesome. Right <laughs> I love it. Okay. Yeah. Or you just look it up online, I love it right? But okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. We can just uh, look I it up. Oh, my God. Hey. What a shocking twist. It's from Kirk. We're done. Here says, we I'm go. Coming in with another name. Kirk a rated G, ends it for us all. Be by your power oh, hold on. Oh, 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 hold on. Kirk what? went off here. Kirk went off. Hold on. Let's hear Kirk here. Uh, I got another dollar tip. What a shocking twist. It's from Kirk. Uh -oh. He says, I'm coming in with another name. It'll be rated G and make inoffensive jokes and be banned by your power tripping and quite possibly racist mod again. Ooh. How would the mod know it's you unless you announce your presence that it's you? That's not again, the point, Again, I don't understand sir. how you think you're getting punted by a particular mod. The night you got banned, Kirk, you were banned by a completely different moderator. It wasn't the one you don't <laughs> like. <laughs> the one you don't like wasn't even on that stream. So you have no idea what you're talking about. Why does he give him the the time of day, dude? <laughs> he does. He explained everything. Okay. Yeesh. For a dollar. He's like... Anyway, well, this, we I mean, that shows you how much Kirk is like has issues, right? Because if you get treated like this, it can be, everyone in the community hates you. The streamer you're watching hates you. And you still just want to be a part of this so bad because you have nowhere else to go, dude. Is that it? You have nowhere else to go? If DSP's chat is the only place for you to be, man, do something else, man. Find something else. Start. Do something else degenerate, like gambling or something. Like, that would help you more. Yeah, th actually throw your yeah. life away instead. Like, you, you're <laughs> you painful might, and slow this way. <laughs> you might win money gambling, like, sometimes. <laughs> the endorphin right. rush will be better, we promise. Yeah, yeah. Do whores. I mean, come on. They should get laid. Anyway, <laughs> that's it. Speaking of whores, I've had a lot of fun. I hope you did, too. We were saved by the one, the only, the Canadian Kirk tonight. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow, Atlas? Any streams planned your way? Come on. No, Easter style uh, tomorrow. Easter style, so fun all style. All day off. <laughs> uh, that being said, we'll be on, to the best of my knowledge. Awesome. So we'll see you there. Uh, the WPIG stream, pre-stream will start 6.30 a.m. tomorrow. So I'll see you at 6.30 for the start. You're all legends. Don't forget it. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.